What are you guys doing? What is going on? What? What? <laughs> what are you doing? Starting a hype train on the starting soon screen? You guys are wild. You guys are wild. <laughs> Thank you so much. Welcome in, guys. Welcome, welcome in. Um. Oh shit! I forgot to change the thing. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Well, hold on. See, I knew that there was something that I'd forgotten today, <laughs> and that was to update the the, the stream thing. Uh, the no, the the goal things for the 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 wheel spin and stuff. <sighs> <laughs> Uh, thank you so much, uh, all of you, for, for uh, resubbing and everything. Hold on, I need to catch up as well. But of, of course, Ryan, no worries, you relax, take it easy, do whatever you need to do today. I appreciate you being here, even if you're just lurking, and if you even if you're not lurking, if you're just taking a you day, you deserve it. You deserve it. Oh, hi, Ghost is today's first. Sarah is today's third. Who is today's second? Is, that, is, it, is anyone second? <laughs> uh, but Scoot, thank you so much for the resub. Oh, Ryan is second. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, I will, I will get you a card, Sarah. I will get you a card. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for the resub, Scoot, and also hi, Scoot. And Marty, how you doing, Marty? And Sarah, thank you so much. <gasps> you subscribed at tier one for six months in advance? What? What? What are you doing? Thank you so much. I mean, that's that's also what I've been doing with your channel, but I, it's just, it feels really nice to see that someone does it here. <laughs> uh, I, I resubbed for, in Chris's channel yesterday for six months in advance, and I'm just waiting for the other two. Um, as in the other two that I started doing that with last year, which was yours and, and Ron's as, as well, to, to run out, and then, then I'm gonna do it as well. But for now, the the, the, the previous sub is still is still going. It's still going. Uh, <laughs> but thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. This is the time to do it, though, when, when it is uh, September. If you haven't done it before, you get 30% off, so it is pretty, pretty affordable in, in comparison to uh, doing it the rest of the year. I mean, it, all in all, it does, it does, it does add up after a while, so. But Orion, thank you so much for the tier 2, 39 months. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you all. Someone do first. <laughs> Smart to sub six months in, in September. Yeah, I mean, if you already know that you're gonna do it anyway, um, because then it's like you actually save money when you know that you're gonna do it. So I highly recommend it. I highly recommend it. In this channel, of course. No, your channel too. Honestly, any any channel that you feel like you want to uh, to uh, to help support, you know. Or if you just really like their emotes, you know? Whatever reason you have. We all have different reasons to be subbed to certain people. Um, hold on, let me let me just fix this um, uh, bit goal thing. And and uh, because I this this is from, from last stream, which was on Wednesday, so <laughs> I haven't even I haven't even uh, um Wait, is this, uh, uh, this bits? Yeah. Mm. But yeah, thank you guys so much for the hype train, though. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. You're the best. You got a choo choo. You got a, you got an emote. 
Wait, didn't I start the goal though? Wait. Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> uh, I, 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 did, I messed up a little bit. There we go. There we go. And then we have the other one. And that should have four sub points at the moment, so. Already pretty close to a <laughs> wheel spin. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Sorry, I should have done this off stream, but I, I really forgot to do it. Wait! Scoot! <laughs> you don't have to do that! Wait, why is it showing this alert now? Why should it show the gift sub alert? Thank you so much. Now we, we can start from, from scratch. You actually did me a favor there. <laughs> like, in, in two ways. In two ways, Scoot. Because then I wouldn't have to, like, have the, the starting amount at four instead. But thank you so much. Thank you so much. Scoot, I appreciate it. Thank you for gifting me some defilomancer. There we have it. There we have it. Yeah, sometimes I just rush a lot at the beginning of stream and I forget all the all the preparations beforehand that I need to do. <laughs> uh, so it do we do be like that. But thank you so much though. You guys are too kind. That means that we're gonna do a wheel spin. Um and yes, we are gonna play more uh, Elden Ring today. I haven't played any anything since last Saturday, so it's been a whole week. It has been a whole week since last time. Um, because I didn't stream yesterday. Um, I've mentioned this before that usually I only let people know in the Discord when I do uh, cancel a scheduled stream. Sometimes, if I remember it, I post it on, on Twitter as well, but usually I forget. <laughs> I, I mainly post in, in the Discord for, for updates like that. Um, so that's why I wasn't live yesterday. Uh, so last time was on Wednesday and then we played some Nine Souls, started playing Nine Souls. I do have, like, if I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, I'm kind of scared to play that game now <laughs> on stream because it is actually a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. And I was like, it's going to be a chill Metroidvania. Yeah, sure, they, they do have some difficult stuff uh, from time to time. It's not like they're not easy games or anything. But this feels like... I feel like... I'm kind of dreading starting it again now because it's I stopped in front of a, a, a boss that was really tough. That I feel like I do not have the skills to get past unless I... I grind for a while like on the boss itself you know to just just keep at it for a long time and that's not something you expect to do early game you know you don't expect to do that right away so if that is a sign of how the rest of the game is gonna go i'm just <laughs> I'm, like, I'm i'm kind of kind of worried about that to do that on stream but we'll 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 see we'll see but today, we're gonna play something easier. <laughs> That's a lie. That's a lie. Um, last time with Elden Ring was actually really... It was the first proper struggle that I've had in this playthrough. Um, because we are playing on New Game Plus. It hasn't been very different. But then I don't really know what makes New Game Plus more difficult. Like, I know that it gets more difficult, like, bosses are more difficult, but I don't know in what ways. Like, I don't know the specifics behind it. So, if I have taken a little bit longer on a boss before, I'm just like, yeah, well, I'm playing on New Game Plus, but then I was like, but what does that even mean? Like, I don't know in what way this is supposed to be more difficult than the other, or if I'm just... If it's just been so long that things are just naturally more difficult because it's been a while since I played it. Does, does that make sense? It's, it's hard to know. It is hard to know. But we are pretty far into the game. We could technically go and beat the game 
within like maybe one or two streams it, unless it's super difficult which it probably will be but i'm like i mean we don't have that many bosses left that are necessary and i have tried not to use any summons i did use summons last time uh for one boss no was it two it, it was two bosses wasn't it yeah because one wasn't because it was difficult it was just because i hadn't seen it before the second was a mix between the two that i hadn't seen that before either and i also hate the boss so much so we fought fire giant beat it on the second try because um i had uh well I had alexander with me which i didn't know that you could summon him well i mean i kind of had heard about it but i hadn't seen it before so i was like i want to see how this goes so we did. Um, but I think it would have been fine without as well. But it was it was fun to see. And then we fought the Godskin duo. Godskin duo we fought uh, with. Well, I used a sleep pot as well as had uh, Bernal with me because I also didn't know that. I didn't know I could do that and that was the boss fight that I had been looking forward to the least out of all of them because <laughs> I, I hate Godskin. I hate the Godskin duo. Uh, so yeah, we, we summoned NPCs for both of those. Um, other than that, I haven't done it. I haven't done it so far in this playthrough. I don't think I will either. Like, well, we, we I'm not going to guarantee anything. But I'm trying to not do it, at least. I start stream speedrun, any percent? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I try to be... I try to be punctual. So I try not to take too long. Any plans to patch 7? Wait, what do you mean? I mean, I am still planning on doing an honor mode run, but I don't know exactly when. I kind of want to see... I try not to do any like too much research beforehand because I feel like that's why I wanted to do a practice run on tactician so I could make my own assessment I guess and see what I feel like I would improve on an honor mode run uh, so I don't want to do too much research but now that they have added some more uh, legendary actions and stuff to certain fights I feel like maybe I have to, because I don't feel like doing another tactician run just to see it for myself. Because I also don't know... I don't know if they actually only added it to honor mode or if it was also tactician. It should be both, but I didn't really actually see any specifics on it. But hey, Ghost! How you doing? How you doing? How was my day? It's, it's pretty pretty okay. Pretty okay. I haven't really done too much. I have been watching some animus. Uh, so I'm watching uh, Mashal right now. Uh, <laughs> you probably... <laughs> you know, Mashal, magic, and, and muscle. Uh, m magic and muscles. Uh, which came out last year. I'm catching up on, on the animes that I didn't watch last year because I had so much going on that I could only stick to a few at a time so I picked uh, the ones that I was mo that I was most excited about so now I'm just catching up on the ones that I was kind of in the on the back burner for me but I still have plans to watch and um uh yeah, Mashal is, is pretty funny. If you have watched either... It's it's kind of like a mix between three things. It's it's like a mix between... Psyche K... And... and uh, One Punch Man... And... Uh, well, Harry Potter in a way. Because it's it takes place on a, on a magic school. Um, so it's... <laughs> but it's, it's basically a parody. It, it's it's all like it's a parody but it's it's so funny um and yeah it's it, it, it has been on my uh, my watch list for a good while uh, and then 
suddenly I don't know if people actually know what anime it's from, but most people have heard the intro to season two. Um if you if you use TikTok, you probably you probably heard the song. Um I think yeah, I shared it in Ron's Discord because he was uh, he, I I talked to to him about it on stream and he didn't know he didn't know anything about the show, so I just shared the link with him. Uh, I mean, I guess I could share it in, in my Discord as well, so people don't have to, like, go through his or if they don't know him. Uh, but yeah, I can share it. You can share it in the, the Animu and the Animo channel. And then if you hear it, you... Because I don't want to play it on stream, because now that I post stuff on YouTube, it's going to be... Um, it's all going to be copyrighted. But yeah, can almost guarantee that most people have heard that song. <laughs> most people. But hey, Sparky Kitty Cat, hello, hello. Welcome in. But patch seven is a verb now. Mm. Well, yeah, I am planning on doing it. I am planning on it. And, but I'm, I'm also like, I feel like I need to give it more time. Because people were not interested in me playing it on stream uh, after a good while. I could tell. So, um, it doesn't feel good to stream it when you know that people don't actually want you to stream something specific. And it's not just one person. It's like you can you can kind of tell that it's the majority of people. Even though like I do play games for my own sake. But it's also a mix between the two because you're also playing... Like, if, if people don't enjoy watching something, then what is the point of streaming it? Because then I can just play by myself. You know, I don't have to stream it. Um, so there has to be some sort of balance between the two. So it's not like I only play games that other people will enjoy, but I also want to find a middle ground where we can all you know, enjoy the game. But yeah, the <laughs> the song is the song is so catchy. <laughs> uh, and actually, it took me a little while before. I, oh yeah, it's from this anime that I haven't watched yet. But I I'm well. So then I was like, well now I definitely want to watch it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's uh. It's a funny show, and I also watched also watched the new episode of, of My Hero Academia today. It came out today. Um, honestly, I I, I had to, I had to force back my tears. I almost <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't anything sad. It was just it was just you know, um, My Hero Academia has a tendency to make me very uh, emotional, but like in a in a not necessarily because it makes me sad, but because it. I get, like, it moves me, you know, the intensity of things, and then, you know, when when it, it becomes wholesome and stuff, you know, I, I get, I get, I start to tear up a little bit. Um, so I was, I was eating, <laughs> I was eating pizza, I was like, just, just, just forcing the tears back in. <laughs> uh, I was just, I uh, just had to force my tears back in because of the, I was just blinking like crazy because I'd put on my makeup at that point. <laughs> um, but yeah, I... Yeah, that's what I've been doing today. I've been watching animus. Been watching animus. Not so much else, really. One thing that I did mention, well... I, I say that I, I mentioned this, but, but it's because I know that most people who are here are in Ron's channel as well. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yesterday I ordered food on like groceries at my door for the first time, and I was so happy that even that almost made me cry as well. <laughs> uh, I swear, I'm, I'm. It's not that time of the month either. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just an emotional person because it was so convenient and so nice and they even gave me a, a a bouquet like a flower bouquet with the order which was so unexpected i forgot to post a picture of it but i will do it 
it was it was it was really nice it was really nice and for someone who hates going to the well actually i enjoy going to the store because i like to to like select things but i don't enjoy the the whole surroundings of of going to this like i don't i don't enjoy everything around it but you can still do that online so it's perfect because you can do it in the peace of your own home so then i'm going to start doing that now <laughs> it helps me so much <laughs> Uh, you were barbecuing with your family and today and your sister and your brother-in-law told you they got groceries from Uda for the first time today. Wait, really? Uh, what did they say? That's so funny. <laughs> I wonder why that happened, like, two days apart? That you have had people tell you that? That's so funny. Because, like, there, there wasn't any ad or anything. I literally looked it up. Yeah, Tusta, she's uh, sharpening her claws on the carpet. In case you're wondering what that sound was. Like, there, there wasn't an ad or anything. Uh, I just... I looked it up myself. Because I wanted to find a solution to... In case I ran out of something and I didn't feel like going to the store. Because I've had a lot of... I've had a lot of problems with my... Well, being tired and not having energy lately and just dreading being forced to go outside to go go shopping because when it's something that i need to do it makes me super anxious sometimes so i'm, I'm i just i wanted to find something that could reassure me that i didn't have to worry so much about it <laughs> so that, that's that's why i started doing it Hmm. Wow. Hey. It's very convenient for them since they have full-time jobs and a kid and going to the grocery store is just an extra time consumption. They brought it up as well. It was so funny. <laughs> yeah, that is really funny though. And you can, you can, ah, uh, yeah. And they were so punctual as well. Like they said, between well, we expect to be there between 7.15 or the, the 7.15 and, and 20.30, like as in 8.30. I don't know why I say it like that. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Um, and then they came at my door five minutes after the, the, the earliest time they said. And that was so wild to me because I was expecting I was expecting everything to be so half-assed, but it was so nice. They said the same thing, very punctual, and they got flowers too. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, I wonder if that's something they do every time, or probably not every time, but it's probably just uh, when it's your first order. But I am curious to see uh, because I, I'm gonna order again this coming week. Because I didn't order every single thing because I didn't want to, I didn't want to risk ordering too much in case I wasn't happy with it. Um, I only bought a few like basic things that I would need over the weekend. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna order uh, again this coming week. Other stuff that I need. But that's so cool though. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah, I'm glad that it wasn't just uh, that that it seems to be a common thing that I just wasn't like that I wasn't just lucky, you know. Um, and yeah, the delivery person was also really nice, very very nice, and wished me a, a happy weekend and everything, you know. People who are from like the U.S. and stuff probably think that that's common courtesy and it is but it's not like it's not like it's expected <laughs> it's not expected of you probably first order if you get flowers you can give them to whoever you bring to the theater later this month again <laughs> wait what do you mean uh... 
Wait, what do you mean? As if you've already decided that you're going to the theater? But you just haven't decided with whom? Or... I, I have questions here. <laughs> I mean, they, they're nice, but I'm not sure if I would... Uh... I'm not sure if, if that would be a good idea, though. You bought two tickets to the theater last November because they were selling out quick. Just realized a couple of weeks ago you never actually invited anyone. Oh, I see, I see. I was like, <laughs> this this seemed a bit like random at first. <laughs> um, but what what theater though? What what? Like as in a play or like show or something? But yeah, we can open up the game as well. I don't know why she's being so cuddly right away. <laughs> also, she's gotten this this like really, really light fur here these past few days. It's like it's like it's extra winter fur, but it's like it's the extra thin and soft one. But you see that it's really light and extra long than you see on on cam. It's so funny. <laughs> I don't know why that happened. <laughs> because it hasn't even been that cold. Like, now it's actually been really warm. These past... Like, this past week, it's been really warm outside. Like, it's it's been warmer this month than it's been... What? Just... Uh, eh. I was, I was using the mouse, and then... She made me pop out the audio mixer on OBS, and now I can't place it in in the <laughs> because it won't, it won't use the to stop, please. There we go. It won't lock onto like the bottom part of the screen. I don't know. I don't know. God damn it! I guess the audio mixer is gonna be popped out for the rest of the stream. The, the, the stream then. Oh, how the fuck did it pop back in when I moved it to the other monitor? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> what is going on? Uh... Anyway, um, it's called the Infernal Comedy. You think it's a theater production of the movie with the same name? John Malkovich is coming. To your town, so you had to go watch him? Oh, really? Damn. That sounds cool. Uh, just been on your mind a lot lately, because the show is only two weeks away. But... Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of crazy to get a huge Hollywood star to your tiny, tiny city. Well, I mean, it's one of the bigger cities, though. <laughs> hey, Toonie! You know, see, Toonie, he is, he is, he is, um, telling me what a terrible streamer I am because I haven't even, sh even shouted my, uh, out my own mod. And he's right. So go follow Sarah and also go follow Toonie as well. Toonie Boons. Or maybe that was his uh, idea all along, that he was just, you know, hinting at, Hey, I'm here too, I need a shout out. <laughs> he would hate that that is how it was interpreted. <laughs> um, so in November you thought you had to get tickets uh, right away, but you didn't want to invite anyone since it was so far into the future and now you've completely forgotten about it. Yeah. Yeah, that happens. That happens. That's why I don't like getting gift cards, because it's like... I don't necessarily need what I'm gonna use it on right away, and then if it goes too long, I just forget that I have them, and then they expire. And then I feel bad. Orion shouted you out? Oh! Oh, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Well, you got a second one, then. <laughs> and Toonie as well. You both got one, because you both deserve it. You know? But yeah, let's let's get into the game. Have you guys been watching anything new? 
some new animu or not animu it's something else it could be it could be anything He's also playing Elden Ring right now. <laughs> Only 40 minutes of chat must not feel well today. You must not have been here early on for a while because usually I start... Uh, well, it depends on the day and depends on the game. Depends on how much people are chatting. But this isn't too early for me. Um, God damn it. I just switched it over to that monitor. Okay. Uh, game capture. I don't know why it pops up on the other monitor here. All the all the the stuff for OBS when you when you double click on stuff and it pops up on a new window, like the game capture stuff, it pops up on a different monitor. I'm like, why do you do that when OBS itself is on a different one? Makes no sense. Hmm. <laughs> I haven't been in the mood at all, sadly. Hmm. Well, I mean, you also have had a lot of new stuff going on. I forgot your card. Do you want to do it later? Oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot to do that. See, yeah, I... I... I forget everything, but also to start you're in, in the way. You do have to head to bed soon lately. lately sadly, yeah. That is on. Yeah, I just forgot. I'm sorry. I just forgot. Honestly, there are a lot of things that I miss at the beginning of stream, especially if it happens during the starting suit screen. <laughs> because I'm so busy just making sure that I post that I'm live everywhere, so I don't actually watch chat while it happens. Um. Are you ready for tomorrow? Wait, what is, what is happening tomorrow? Is there some football stuff? Me too, stuff. Yeah, let us get a card for Sarufian. Some sports ball. Mm. Well, seeing as it, it's Sarah, uh, no, Toonie asking. I assumed I assumed as much. She's literally just sitting in like right in front of me, so I have to like sit with my hands like this to be able to to, to do this. Oh, she moved. She heard me. <laughs> she understood. <laughs> she moved just like a little bit so she's <laughs> but she's sitting in the exact same position as before. Just just look at her. She just <laughs> she just moved up. She's so adorable. <laughs> Uh, oh, we got a card. We got a card. Perfect. Earth spirit. Stability. Yeah, we have the, the ominous Elden Ring music in the background. Maybe it's gonna be that intense, you know, this, this card. No, stability doesn't sound like it will be that intense. Um, but okay, uh, Earth Spirit Stability. In the lazy quietude of a warm summer afternoon, you recline on the soft moss on the forest floor and listen to the heartbeat of the earth. A rhythmic cadence surges up from the ground beneath you. With each beat, you remember who and, uh, you are and what is truly important in life. The strengthening, grounding energy of the earth is filling every part of you. It is time to start measure, uh, 
It is time to take measure of your life and put your roots down. Assess who you are and where you are. Make plans for the future, but don't act on those plans until you feel secure in stepping forward. This is the time to preparation. This is the time. This is the time of preparation and going deeper. Um, this card can also indicate that you aren't grounded and you need to create more stability into your life. Think things through before you take action. Take time to plan your future carefully. Don't rush into anything. Strength is growing within you. Security and protection surround you. You are safe. If you're thinking of making secure financial investments and receive this card, it is telling you that this is a good time to do so. It's not a time to take risks. The Earth Spirit provides the trees, plants, flowers, rivers, streams, oceans, mountains, and valleys, and supports us all with her bounty. She's stable and strong in her devotion to us. You're, suppo uh, you're supported and loved, even if you're not always sure of it. The seeds that you plant now will bring abundance in the future, but only if you take the time to nurture those new beginnings. And then it says at the end, uh, the spirit of the earth says, be present in the moment, slow down and let go of the business and frenetic pace of life. Explore your roots, honor your past, go deep, reflect on your life. There we go. And then two still left. Right away. <laughs> but yeah, that's the card. Gotta gotta get that gotta get grounded. Exactly. Exactly. Hold on. Let me just pay, take a picture. I'll take a picture. You know you know the drill. You know the drill. Get drilling, Jean. That was really loud, but it, it was fitting. Let us see. Um, you're worried about this card now? Mm, get grounded 2024. Yeah, two still left to get grounded. She literally jumped on the floor though, so you're not you're not wrong. <laughs> you are not wrong. I also feel a little bit bad because I know Dazzy redeemed. Uh, a card like a week or two ago and I asked if uh, we can wait until the end of stream because I wasn't uh, I was in the middle of something and then I I forgot to do it and I also forgot to refund the points but I remember I do remember Also, we're going to do a wheel spin as well. Uh, I'm going to save it for after I've used the one that we got from last time, though. Uh, just so I don't forget. Um, mm -mm. Yes, yeah, so we have two wheel spins today. So far. Well, we did the wheel spin that we're going to use now. We did that last time, so we know what we're going to use. Lurky celebration while you're finishing a call. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Also, let me give you shouty outy. Uh, let me give you a shouty outy. You've been live like several times. Like, have you been live like twice a day or something lately? Because I feel like you've been you've been popping off. You've been popping off. But it's nice to see you. Thank you so much. Well, I mean, I'm I'm talking and they're lurking. <laughs> so it's like I'm, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Um, you always save the cards so you can read them again, so you appreciate it with that. You're gonna lurk and get ready for bed. Thank you so much, Sarah. And of course, you're very welcome. I hope you have a good night as well. And s sleep well.
I'm glad that they that you 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 enjoy the cards though. Yeah, we literally just beat uh, Malekith last time and uh, didn't do anything after that. Uh, I just hit that button on accident. Yeah, so this is the, the weapon we got on the wheel spin. We got the... Um, The, the Staff of the Avatar or something, is that what it's called? Yeah, exactly what it's called. Yeah. Um, thank you, Ryan. Yeah, those are all the weapons we've had in the wheel spin so far. Um, so, it's, it's, uh, it's been quite a few. It has been quite a few. Yeah, I hope you have a good night, Sarah. Hope you have a good night. And again, thank you so much for the, the six months in advance. I really, really do appreciate it. I really appreciate it. I've sent you a PlayStation 5 and buy me a PlayStation 5 while I finish your Elden Ring playthrough. <laughs> Wait, if you send me your PlayStation 5 and you buy me a PlayStation 5? Isn't that a little bit excessive? <laughs> you meant PlayStation 5 first. Hmm. Damn, so I don't get anything out of it? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so you still buy me a PlayStation 5. Oh. No, I mean... How far did you get into the game, though? See, now I'm so used to... Um... I'm so used... <laughs> used to monster hunter that i keep pressing the the rb button to sprint because that is the sprint button in monster hunter but it's at least it's not a huge difference though oh yeah isn't gold no not gold mask but isn't um uh the other dude isn't he supposed to be here somewhere Unless I missed some steps. I guess maybe I did. Not that it's important though. Just just a question. I wouldn't be able to finish that quest line in this playthrough anyway. And we did it on the um uh seamless co-op run we had, so I got to do do the whole quest then. I think you're on level 120 and finished the giant area. Can't remember the name. Mm, yeah, that's what I did last time. Uh, last Saturday. So, you, did you fight the fire giant then? And get to the, um... The fair of Missoula? The, the, the crumbling lands? Oh, damn. I'm too big. You beat the fire giant, but you went somewhere else before the crumbling land. Okay, okay, I see, I see. To be fair, though, I I understand. Um, even if you even if you haven't even done the part yet, that was the one thing that I had been. Tr I shouldn't I shouldn't say this, <laughs> but I I literally said it at the beginning of stream though. Um, that that was the one thing that I was the most worried about in this playthrough. Uh, two boss fights in Fair Missoula. And it took me two hours to beat Malekith last time. No, I, I actually I, I looked at the time. So it was it was a little under two hours, but it was it was close enough to just say two hours. <laughs> um it was rough. It was rough. I just know that there's going to be someone here. Or maybe not. 
I'm so used to these rooms to have those uh, um, people with the, the crossbows just hiding. I don't remember if I ever went that way that I just went <laughs> through that opening there. Um, oh yeah, I'm not gonna start the timer until we get to some enemies. Uh, but yeah, we, we're gonna do the, the timer when, when we get to it. It's still pretty dead right now. Wait, what about Bok? I'm gonna see if Bok is still here. He is. Bok the seamster, at your service, my lord. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. E. Going already, my lord. E. Please do be safe on your journeys. I would assume that his quest would progress now, though. Or maybe I just messed up when I when. I did two different things, so maybe the game got confused, and it just won't progress at all. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you went to where Astel Stars of Darknesses really got discouraged by that fight, roamed around that area for a bit, and just kind of stopped. Oh, so you were- you didn't finish Ronnie's questline then. So that you you stopped before you uh, beat him. I see, I see. I mean, he is a pain in the butt. That is for sure. I don't know why I'm going this way when that is just leaving the area. Um, you don't think you finished any quest lines? Feel the quests are not very clear. Yeah, but isn't that normal for FromSoft games in general? <laughs> None of them are very straightforward, if any. <laughs> uh, anything you finished was by accident? Mm. Yeah, when I did the first playthrough, I... When it came to quests, I asked for help in, like... What, uh... Like, where I should go next for for certain quests and stuff or like yeah just i needed directions for them because i had no idea but i i also just kind of understood that that was how it worked with these games not a hate on the design but you a little more hand-holding wouldn't be bad. Maybe at least a quest log. I have said the exact same thing, Toonie. You're not- you're not wrong. I- I fully agree that it wouldn't ruin anything uh, regarding the game to have a quest log of sorts so that it would at least tell you the last thing you did. Or if it had- you know, character um, dialogues save like the, the logs for, for dialogues. The logs for dialogues. Or something. Just. Because not everyone wants to look things up. Some of us want to do things on our own, in a sense. But it's hard to remember everything, unless you just take notes, but that would also ruin the immersion, you know? Having to take notes throughout the entire playthrough? NPCs just disappear and you have no idea why, then you can't complete quests. Yeah. Yeah, because you can't know that unless you look it up, that if you progress too much by, like, beating this boss, or if you go to this area, 
before finishing it up, then you will lock yourself out. And then it's just... And you can't just reload an older save either, because, you know, that's not how things work in this game. Um, so, I completely agree with you. A fancy is hard to grasp for some people. A lot of new names and places to learn for first playthrough. That too. That too. And I feel like in a lot of games, not from soft games, but games in general, that it's also common to have like a... Uh, in the menu, like a tab with characters. So you have like a character... Uh, like a, a tab with just all the characters and names. Like picture and names and stuff too. That would also be very helpful. Mm. Liza P did that too. Like that's something that I said when I played Liza P that I think that FromSoft could take some some um pointers from 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 this game because they added some quality of life improvements that from soft games kind of miss that doesn't do anything to ruin like the it doesn't do anything with the immersion or like the structure of the game or it doesn't make it easier either like it doesn't it, it's just it's just nice <laughs> It feels like a bare minimum, honestly. Um, also, do I have to go back to Fair Missoula to get my, my runes now? Yeah. Hold on. Let me just... You like a good beast here, even if you never actually read it? Same. Ugh. This is gonna be painful with a new weapon because he sure you can start attacking him before like while he's talk talking which is what I'm gonna do because in my first playthrough he was a pain in the ass because I bothered to listen to his dialogue um and that <laughs> that ruined everything <laughs> uh, but we're getting an ad so I'm not I don't want to do that so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna just go and get my runes. Then you won't miss anything. Not that there are any runes to pick up. I just don't want I just don't want it to be visible on the screen. Because it it's annoying. <laughs> Actually, let me also go to the round table hold. To level up this one a little bit. Like, technically, now we have. Like. Is it three or four? No, four. New items can be purchased from the twin maiden husks? Oh, yes, because of. <clears throat> but yeah, I also like a good beast here because it's nice to be able to uh just to go back and see just in case. No. You have felt the curse. I can smell it on you. The box, yet tender. Apparently my seed bed is ripe and waiting. It was a brief respite, I must say. Go and unshackle my corporeal flesh, trapped in the sewer jail below the capital. Hmm. I can kill you and defile your corpse. Then the pox will truly be your own. 
I think not. Go and unshackle my trapped in this. I can claim the pox woods. Honestly, I forgot about him completely. He is silly NPC. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it also has a lovely name. He also has a lovely name. Wait, what happened to... What happened to you? I forgot. Oh, she's sitting here. Take a look around. The round table hold is burned. Raised to the ground. Don't worry. I don't blame you. I'll continue spirit tuning just the same as before. Which is why I need your help persuading Master Hugh to leave. His roots are so knotted in this place. He won't last much longer if he stays here. His shackles are broken. He's a free man now. It's high time he put the round table behind him. His roots. Well, that's all the tree has now. <laughs> mm. Wait, also... Is it now that I can go and... and Are you still here? In this ash, it reminds me of my... In this ash, it reminds me... I, I don't know what I missed in that quest now. <laughs> because I, I think I did everything that I was opposed to. Who are you? Oh, no. I guess when it's a heavy weapon like that, I why well, should I have no idea. I have no idea. I gave her the talisman or the the, the hawk uh thing, the ashes. I mean, no. You know the, the hawk thing. <laughs> I gave her that. I went to talk to to um uh Kenneth, and he said he was looking for, you know. Someone who could, uh, well, basically her. But then it's just n never progressed any more after that. So I was like, oh, maybe I just need to progress more in the main story. And then I can progress there as well. But then, I don't know. Maybe if I go back to his fort again, he will go. I don't know. See, this is what I mean. I've done, even when I know what steps to take, I don't know what triggers everything to progress. Did I kill the guy that's stomping on Godric? Oh yeah, that's true. I did. I did do that. <laughs> did Killing Gostok shouldn't affect that? Oh, it shouldn't. Well, I have talked to Kenneth uh, as well, but I was like... But it's fine though, I have done it before. It's no it's no big deal. And as I said as uh, as well before that I don't really care about all the different quest lines or most of them. Um that wasn't part of the the focus that I was going to do in this this playthrough. I don't know how many upgrades I should do, though. 
But it is kind of funny though if that affects anything because he's a nobody and like he's a, he's a nobody and he doesn't. It shouldn't affect it. I was considering it at the time, whether it would or not. But I just seem he just seems very insignificant overall. Someone said you should rest at Stormvale, maybe to move Gostock to kick Godric's corpse, but for me, he's dead. Yeah, I know. Um, I mean, we could go to the fort just to see. But I've al I've already gone here uh, like four times or something after Kenneth has moved here just to see how if the quest has progressed but again it doesn't really matter overall people are saying if Kenneth or Gostock are dead shouldn't affect Nefeli moving to the throne room oh interesting Yeah, because when you think about it, him. Wait, no. God damn it! I'm I'm so used to playing Monster Hunter now that I'm using all the wrong controls. God damn it, can you not miss? Kill okay, no no no, I did it on purpose. It's not poor, he literally steals from you. And he locks you in a room. I just didn't want to I wanted to avoid that. Calling him innocent? Well, I mean, I know you said you didn't say innocent, but you it seemed like you implied that he was innocent. Which he definitely is not. He steals from you when you die. And he locks you in the room with the knight, so you will die. He's just a piece of shit. So it was very much on purpose that I killed him, because he didn't die with just one hit. Someone got it to work when they rested at the secluded site of Grace and waited till morning. Oh, okay. Well, we can try it. I must begin my search for a true. Yeah. He steals from you. Yes, he does. What happened in in my? I started the second playthrough off stream, uh, along with my first one before I was done with the first playthrough. Um. And when I went to Stormvale Castle, he was following me around. And, um... He's following you around to steal from you. So, he... I found him at the top of uh, a ladder. And you had the option to kick him off. You could sneak up behind him. And kick him off the off the rooftop where he was sitting at the top of the ladder. And that's what I did. <laughs> uh, well, before... Before I go... Well, before I try to do that... Wait, it's so dark. Hey, Shane, how you doing? He doesn't steal after Godric is dead or some other trigger, but yeah, when you pick up runes, it's less than what you have when you died. Yeah, but even... Wait, but why do you have to go to the secluded one instead of this one? Why does that matter? Um...
But just because he doesn't do it anymore, that doesn't make him an innocent person. <laughs> yep, nothing here. People were saying both ones and waiting until morning. Yeah, I just wanted to see if, if I didn't have to wait. Um, but yeah, the fact that he locks you in as well, that is probably the most annoying thing, though. Because that, that was the... Um, I'm going to see if I can do it from here first. And if it doesn't, we're going to check the other one. Hey, there she is. There they both are. See, you can kill Gostock. Win-win. It's been some time. I must thank you for your aid. I told Father I would be with him no longer. I remembered the vow I took when I first became a warrior so many moons ago. This land is much like the one from which I hail. I will call upon the storm to drive away the foulness that has settled on the winds. Someone sneezed. I don't know if you could hear, but Bye. it was really loud. <laughs> nice to see you after so long. Safe and sound, I take it, yes? Good. Ah, quite. I have indeed selected a new ruler. Lady Nefeli is strong and just. Worthy of the burden of Limgrave's lineage. Such is the sincere opinion of I, Kenneth Height, no less. For the time I being, cannot hide. I share command of the castle with my lady. But I plan on returning to my fort afterwards. At which time I can fulfill my old promise. By raising you to the glory of knighthood. Mm -mm. I hope it is just as wonderful as you imagine. Wow, ghost. Ghost doesn't believe in me. But like, when you think about it logically, Gostock shouldn't have anything to do with this. He's... Literally no one. Like, he is, he is a nobody in the grand scheme of things. So him being alive or dying should not matter in this case. When you, when you think about... When you think about the logic behind it. Someone also said killing Gideon will make Nefeli leave or die and leave her item, items where she was last. But you know, does that mean only before her quest is done? Probably, because I haven't killed Gideon yet, so... Again, I am Nefeli Lu, warrior. Some call me by the title of Lady, but I remain the same woman underneath, though I have now abandoned my former guidance. I cannot express how much you've helped me. But I'm standing here. <laughs> An ancient dragon smithing Should stone. Should you become Elden Lord, I would gladly lighten your burden. Farewell. I will remain to summon the storm, but your guidance and your fight surely lie elsewhere. True. For the time being, I share command, at which time I'm raising you to the- I hope it is- Does that mean that we have to go back to his I fort now? I your guidance surely lie elsewhere. Or is there nothing else to do? Because it's been so long, I don't remember. I don't remember. I assume this is all. Hmm. It should be all. Yeah. That is what I thought. Okay, let us go back to... Hey, blues coming in the first thing you hear is me roasting a poor man who lost his arm because of his greedy demigod king who are you talking about gostock why does everyone feel bad for gostock he's a piece of shit Uh, 
Sure, if you just left me alone, that would be fine. I wouldn't care. But how you doing though, Blues? Uh, hold on. Let me do something real quick. I just want to open up Afterburner just in case. Just in case. Um, because my game was... Like, I know this is a, a DLC thing. It started happening after I got the DLC. Um, that it has like a little bit of stuttering sometimes. So why am I going here? I don't, I don't want to, I'm not looking forward to, to Gideon because I've only done that once and it was a pain in the ass, but I know it's going to be easier if you just go up, to, uh, go up to him while he's talking, but I haven't tried doing that before. I have not tried that before. But yeah, we can start the timer now when when I get into the boss room. Do you have a couple of other places as well? There yeah, that's that's true. I mean I'm not I'm not planning on going straight to the end right now. But Before the Elden Ring, to become Elden Lord, it's a sad state of affairs. I commend your spirit, but alas, none shall take the throne. Queen Marika has high hopes for us that we continue to struggle unto eternity. Ow. Uh, also, I, I'm using a weapon that I have not tried yet before. So a long wind-up is not a good thing for this... this fight. <laughs> He's a piece of shit, but you understand why? Well, it's not an excuse. Well, what, I, what was I supposed to do? It's a long wind-up on the weapon. Ow. Yeah, I'm trying to heal as well, but I know I'm sh I should go behind the pillars while doing that, but This is not the weapon to use for this, that's for sure. You don't think it's an excuse either? You pity him, really? Well, I don't, because, you know, even if he steals, I can forgive that, but the fact that he locks me into the that one room, that is the part that pisses me off. Because that is very unnecessary.
God damn it, I didn't see if he was doing that or the, the sword things. Standing in the what? What? You fought well until now. I was almost at full health. See, if I just used a different weapon for this, it would not have been a problem because I could have just done it in one go. In, in my first playthrough, I took so long with this boss fight because I stopped to listen to him talk. I was starting to wonder if it wouldn't go through the wall. Can we stop? This is so annoying. No. Can we stop with the stupid spells? I mean, I know that's all he does, but... I'm so I'm so annoyed by this dude. <sighs> because it makes no sense that he can just spam spells. It's it was the same thing with uh who was it again? Um Who was it? Again? Yeah, it was when I when I fought my own um, uh, mimic tier. It's like this is not fair. Like, why can you do like infinite uh, spells and I can't? It made no sense. Fuck. Well. You fought well until now. Yeah. It was the the mimic tier. Because you know that makes no sense. If you're gonna be uh, a copy of me. Everything should be a copy. But also, not just that, but also because of the, um... At least make them occasionally chug the blue flask or something. Yeah, at least do that. But then it's like with the health potions, they can heal once, and then they can try to heal again, but then they're empty. Why isn't that a thing for FP? Well, that's not helping. Like, I'm genuinely asking in, in a way that it's like... I'm, I'm questioning the logic here.
dude, I hate this spell so much. You fought well until now. Shut up. Because I know that you can at first you can just stab him in the back, and if you already have a weapon that is the the, the right level which I obviously don't have because I'm doing a different type of run right now. <laughs> um, I didn't even level it up enough. Uh, if I had used my katanas, for example, I would have I would have been able to kill him. God damn it. See, this is what happens when you, you just spam spells. You don't even care if you hit. You just... You just boasting. Also, I have no idea what the, the red thing does. Am I gonna die because of some spell he has put on me? It's mostly because they based on the NPC mo model and not the player model. All NPCs have infinite mana. But it's funny because they don't have infinite you know, HP in the sense that even if they're invaders, they still need to heal. But they even run out of that. Like, I won't lie. I'm just, I'm just wasting my time here with this weapon until I can use what I actually want to use. Well, <laughs> like, I'm not even trying because I know I can't do it with this weapon. Um, no, it, the time is not up. It's another 10 minutes. Mm, hold on, let me just... Yeah, because the timer doesn't go up to 20 minutes. Just change the weapon now and do the other 10 minutes after that. No, that would... Oh, I just said 10. <laughs> I just said 10. Uh Yeah, I'm just I'm just a little bit annoyed because this was like not the right fight for this at all. God damn it. Like I was in such a good position earlier. But then he one-shotted me, and I don't even know what what did it because he didn't even use a an actual spell that hit me. I think he just did something that kind of just blasted out of him. That wasn't. I mean, that sounds like a spell, but that's not what I mean. <laughs> it was a law of causality incantation. I don't know what that does. Well, I mean, I. What does what does that do? Except one shot me. <laughs> oh, that one. Also, Law of Causality is, uh, is from Berserk as well. <laughs> I was hoping I could do that from through the wall.
Oh, wait, uh, why did I heal? I didn't even need to. Wait! How- did he heal? Yeah, he did, that piece of shit. Um, he has a circle thing in his stomach model when it's active. When you do like five, I think it hits it like bursts. You can also have the incantation as well. Hmm. I think his status effect damage doesn't damage doesn't proc it. Wait, we're we talking about two different things now. I mean, he also healed. That was so annoying. It's just, I don't know how to do this without um, a faster weapon or a ranged weapon. Because as soon as I go away when he does attacks, it's like just finding an opening as soon as I try to hide away from them. It's also difficult. It says like, if you don't do it right away, it's almost as if it's hard to get back into it. When you hit the weapon, it takes like five hits to proc, but if there was like a poison, it wouldn't count towards the five hits. Oh, I see, I see. No, I mean, I mean, also, I, the. Orion can explain to me themselves, but. Um. That's also not what I mean, because I thought you were talking about. I also thought you were answering me about the other thing. So that's why I wasn't sure if you asked me, well, answered the two things, or if it was the same thing. God damn it. Yeah, because I was also asking about the, um, the red thing that I have on me when I enter the room. Um... No, not the skull one. It's on me, like specifically on my character's body. The, the, the upside triangle thing. This one. Or, no, it's not a triangle. But... Stop it! See, it's like, he doesn't even have any wind-up, he just slams him in my face. It's not fun when, when I have to take so long. Uh, because I also have tried to uh, upgrade my, my stamina. So I can 
so I can use these heavy weapons a little bit better. But I still feel like I run out of stamina so quickly. Because I also do so little damage, and I know the first time that I played, I did a lot more. May you see the mark that is on me? The red one? With the eyes and stuff? That's the one that I meant. Oh, it worked? Stop it. You see what I mean? It's like, it's so difficult to find an opening without taking any damage because I take damage even when I am hiding. those stupid homing swords and it's like how can I dodge all of those because he does it before I'm done rolling effect from Gideon's weapon that makes you take more holy damage, but it also makes him take more da uh, as well, if you understand correctly. A magic damage, not just holy. Hmm. Yeah. This was not it. <laughs> uh... Honestly, I kind of want to try out this one again. <laughs> Just to see how that goes. I mean, I would I would normally use what I um Yeah, I'm not going to need that one for this. Hold on. Now we should be good. Yeah, I kind of want to try out this against him. Because then I can do ranged attacks too. <laughs> uh.
It might not go to, uh, quite as well, though, but... I also don't know how, like, the range on this spell. Yeah, and he's also hiding for some reason. how it does attacks like on both sides Well, it was worth a shot. <laughs> I'm gonna try again. <laughs> uh, if I can get him to stand where I was, like, when I was behind the pillar, but I could see him across there anyway. <laughs> because at least this one does uh, melee damage as well. It's not just magic attack. But yeah, I have no idea on the range uh, on this one. Okay, so it has pretty good range. But it didn't do a whole lot of damage, though. The fact that he can heal up almost completely after that is insane to me. What? Why do you aim th that way? I know it locked off, but still. It's just the AoE on this weapon is so good. <laughs> because it has such... Like, it can reach so... Wait. Okay, I guess that one didn't work. That didn't either. I guess I need to be able to see him fully. Oh shit. Yeah, the skull is what does the most damage here for me. Oh. No! 
I meant to heal. Well, I didn't mean to heal when I... Oh, fuck. I, I don't even know how to say what I was going to say. I'm missing because he... Why didn't that one hit, though? <laughs> this looks so pathetic. out. There we go. Watch me die now. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, can you come a little bit closer, but like not... No. Get away. Wait, did you see the way he was just rolling away or dodging away? Kind of pathetic. <laughs> see, he's such a coward. Say I, I'm the one saying behind a pillar, but you know, I'm evening the plain f play field here. <laughs> that was close, though. I almost died. <laughs> I almost died. <laughs> uh. Those who seek danger over cheese. Don't tend to live as long. Exactly. Exactly. Though. Though. <laughs> uh, he was locked on and spam rolled. Yeah. Why you... Why you... I did correct myself in saying the playing field. Why do I feel like go uh, like Blues is constantly judging me? <laughs> uh, let me switch back to what I'm comfortable with. Why are you judging? What for? Yeah, I'm gonna do the other wheel spin as well. Mm. No, wait, I also, I didn't pay attention to how much I needed. And I forgot to select more than one. Um. Oh, it wasn't too far off. Oh, 
Also, judging people for how they play games is kind of kind of cringe. Behold the power of the cheese. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you for the hundred bits. <laughs> Hey, when it comes to certain boss fights, when I think they're unfair, I do not care if I cheese. I do not care. Mm. <laughs> but also, thank you for the 30 bits, Orion. <laughs> um, but how how is the game going? Well, now it's going okay. Now it's going okay. Mm. What should I level up though? Stamina or mind? I don't know. Well, we can go with stamina. No. I kind of want more mind. But yeah, let's do the, the wheel spin. Hold on. Let me just find it. There we go. We have another one. I think I know which one that is. But it's not something that I have used. Alabaster Lord Sword. Isn't it a blue weapon? Well, I know it's a sword, but I mean specifically what it looks like. I think I know what it looks like. Wait, this is, this is these are bows. Yeah. Wait, haven't I gotten this one before? No, have I gotten this before? No, I haven't. No, I haven't used that before. I could dual wield them though. Because I have two? Hold on. Mm. In this instance, knew that if you catch him in his dodge rolls, you win because he mostly dodged if you're up in his space. But didn't want to say anything because didn't ask. Well, the problem was that I, I ran out of stamina, though, because I couldn't keep doing that all the time. What? What is... Why are you being judging, judgy over that, though? What is that? I, I just don't... genuinely don't understand. What is worthy of judgment of, on that? For that? Let's see. Yeah, I don't want to go up there just yet, because if there's one fight in this entire game, out of the... Out of all the boss fights that, uh, that aren't, that you have to do. Horror Lou is the one that I know the least <laughs> because I didn't really get to, to learn the moveset at all. 
Alabaster Lord's Pool. Mm. I just feel like I had a, a spell like that on a, one of those weapons, but... I just don't remember which one it was. But you said you sure as shit are judging. Is there a... What? I'm confused. Gravity weapons also seem fun to make builds for. Mm. Okay, so what should we do? I know Orion really wants me to, to go and fight the... <laughs> I don't know how good that is to do with these weapons, though. <laughs> uh... Fight Fighting the uh, gargoyles. If I'm gonna do that, I'm definitely gonna level them up. Could try. Yeah, I know you really want me to. Oh, Ryan says it's at least once per stream. Well, Elden Ring stream. There's also the Haley tree. No. There is that. That is true. Do I want to go there? That's that's all. That's a, that's a different question. Wait, I only had. Oh, there's somber smithing stones. Okay. I keep pressing. <laughs> I keep pressing RB to, to sprint. I don't mean to. But yeah, I don't know if anyone like this. This shouldn't be news to anyone, but I suck at these games. So if people are not happy with how I do things, it's because I'm bad at them. So I'm going to do it so that I actually can can do it, if, if that makes sense. <laughs> um. 2,000 for one? That's... that's insane. Well, okay. Also, uh, my brain is... not braining. Either. Uh... Might as well. Might as well, because I need to... Judging is forming an opinion or conclusion about something. Analyzing how you play is a part of judging. Yeah, but saying, saying it in that way means judging in a, you know, judgmental way, which is a different kind of judging. I forgot to buy the actual... See... See, this is why I needed to take yesterday off. I don't know what's going on with my brain lately. <laughs> it's just... My memory is failing me. Everything... Like, I'm just... I'm just... Dying. Uh, like, mentally. As in... Not in... Not in... In the way that it sounds, but it's just... I, I need to... At least two. Oh, I could buy two. Okay, good. Uh, I think you're not as bad as you think. Many bosses you do first a few tries, even on New Game Plus sometimes, with also weapons you're not that used to or not leveled up either. And dying in these games is granted as well. True. But... I don't know. I should I shouldn't I didn't mean to level up both of them. Why did what I see what I mean? I only meant to level up one and I ended up leveling up both because I'm, I don't even know if I'm going to use both. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well. I do need the runes anyway. 
Many veterans also die to easy bosses or gravity as well, or stuff like that, because it's just the way these games are. Yeah, but those are more like exceptions when it does happen. It's not like that is a regular occurrence. <laughs> yeah. Like accidents can, can happen to anyone. Wait, is it level? No, fuck. It, it. I keep switching back. That's why I ended up leveling up both of them. I'm. That's embarrassing. Why did it switch places though? Well, now I'm annoyed at myself. Now I'm just annoyed at myself, so I'm, I'm just I'm just gonna leave. I'm just I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's not here. It's here, isn't it? Or. Yeah, here it is. Hey, Craig, how you doing? How are you doing? Also, I am not really interested in fighting the, um... The Crucibles. Also, at the same time, I can understand saying that because you kind of feel that you suck at these games, but you do know, you do know that you're some skilled or not like complete. You don't know, and when you don't do something that you feel you can do but can't manage, it just feels like you're bad, even though it's not. Yeah, when I know that I can do better, sometimes it feels bad. You're all right. Sun is finally out how, after ha being rainy all day. Nice, nice. That's good. I'm glad you're doing doing okay. I'm doing well. I'm doing. <laughs> I'm doing. Um. Hey, Avery. How you doing? Welcome in. Sometimes your reaction time is just not as good as what you think, and you should do. Yeah, sometimes my brain and my my muscles don't exactly see eye to eye. Ah, oh, fuck! Yeah, I forgot. Well, I'm I don't want to be seen by that one. Oh, he's all the way over there. Okay, we can go then. Still need to. Well, I don't I don't necessarily need to fight this one, but. Yeah. Honestly, I just Yeah, if I if I can be completely honest with you guys, the the thing is I feel like I'm kind of burning out, not when it comes to streaming, just just in general. <laughs> Life in general, because everything is just not working as it's supposed to. Uh, I don't have the energy to do anything. I don't have the brain capacity. And uh, I, for some reason, my memory, which is one of the things that I actually take some pride in because I have a really good memory, I have a terrible memory these days, and I don't know why. Um, so it's so <laughs> weird when it's like, when I can't do things that I feel like should be basic things that I should be able to do. You know exactly what you wanted to do, but your mechanical skill is not there. Yeah, yeah, that too. And 
one thing that people don't realize, and I've noticed that when I've watched people play these games myself, or if I've watched my own stream um, afterwards, it is so easy to see how things should be done um, or what that person should have done. But you see things very differently when you're streaming and when you're playing yourself as opposed to when you watch someone else do it, when you're not in the situation yourself. So it can be really difficult to to compare those two situations. Like, it could be so easy and so simple when you see it from, from um, a different point of view, how things should be done. And then you just don't... Yeah, things just seem so much more easy, and you know exactly what you would have done in that situation. But as soon as you're in that situation, well, I guess this is how life is in general. <laughs> it's like any situation you're not in seems like it's so much easier to to deal with, um, I guess. You have about two hours total experience in Souls games, so definitely better than you could not have won the hour long uh, naked fight against your clone. Yeah, <laughs> hey, that is also fair. These, these games are... I mean, I would say that these games aren't for everyone, but at the same time, I do feel like everyone could potentially uh, do them. But it's more about whether you want to, and if you're determined to, and have the patience to do it. Um, but thank you for the lurk, Marty. I appreciate it. You get that? Mm, there's too much shit going on in your life? Yeah. I feel that. I'm sorry, though. We all need a break. We all need a break. In the moment, it's harder to see more things because you have to focus way m Yeah, that too. It's easier to... Uh, observe and see all the things that need to... Like, all the things you could do because you don't have the pressure of actually doing the things in the moment. And even if you have seen someone else do something beforehand and you know how to do things, it's not always easy to execute it the, the way that it's... that you've seen it be done before, just because you know how to do something. It's not necessarily as easy to do the actual thing. Things are often easier to see when you're looking at it from the outside. Yeah. And that goes for games, too. <laughs> and this is something that most streamers know about. And I think it sounds kind of weird for people who don't stream. But if you... As soon as you go live, it's like your IQ just drops dramatically. Um, like, drastically, I mean. See what I mean? I can't even use the right words that I meant to use. Um, you get dumber. As soon as you go live, you get dumber. And it's not... I thought it was just a me thing for the longest time. But it's... It's, it's an inside joke with a lot of streamers that it's true. You do get dumber when you go live. I don't know why, but... I've seen that so many other people have said the same thing. It's like, oh, good thing. It's just not... It's... It's not just me. It's why things like toxic relationships persist because it can be more difficult to see when you're in it. That is also true. Also very true. <laughs> Agree. <laughs> Welcome to speedrunning, knowing exactly how to do something but being un unable to execute it yourself consistently. Mm. Yeah. Streamer brain is real. That's true. Hey Chris, how you doing? Camera reduces IQ by 10. I don't know if it's only the camera either. I think I think it's yeah, it's just the the as soon as you hit the go live button, you get dumber. <laughs> it's uh but hey Chris, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. How is the Kato? For those of you who don't know, Chris and Lauren have got has got they have gotten. They've gotten a cat. They got a cat yesterday. Hello. Hitting start streaming shuts off part of the brain. I 
think I think it's scientifically proven. Yep. They they should look into it. <laughs> Hand over the twinned armor sets. I thought I could talk to him before that. Maybe it's just if I don't have it yet. Mm. Shout out, yeah, go follow Chris. Go follow him right now. Hmm. Maybe it's just some of the capacity goes to being the streamer, so it like takes it from somewhere like you don't know how to- Yeah, I, I think I know what you mean. And I think that is part of it, because it's... Like, despite how used to it you can get, streaming in itself is not a relaxing thing. Like, you're not relaxed in the same way that you are when you're just playing by yourself. You're not, you're not chill. <laughs> because it's a, it's a whole other way of, like, even though you're being yourself, it's still very, a weird situation to be in. You know, having people watch you, um, and also having people watch you do things that you're not used to, well, that isn't something that people usually sit around and watch, you know, except when it's, it's being streamed. So it's it's a very strange situa situation to be in. <laughs> Hope you're all doing well, you bloody legends. No, you. No, you. What have you guys been up to, though? How was how was the the second day with the Kato in the house? Was he like how did he sleep and everything? Has he gone gone on on the on the litter box? That's for sure part of you, your mental focus always on making sure stream is running good, watching chat and things. Yeah. Some people can handle or like don't weigh as much as for some people. Same things are being on camera, or speaking or reacting to things. Unexpected things can happen, and then. Also, playing a game that, as well, there's so many things. Yeah, yeah. It is true. It is true. Playing games on stream is tends to be more difficult than off stream, as well. Should I? Yeah. Also, I only have 31 runes, so if I die, it's not a big deal. He cried all night last night. It was heartbreaking. No. It was a little gumby with you this morning, but you made it up to him with loads of pads. Wait, he was... Do you mean grumpy? Not 31 runes. Yeah. Wait, why did you roll? I don't think the the gravity thing is gonna work well on these guys. <laughs> oh, I forgot that that was what he did.
Ow. Dude. I was in the middle of a heel. Yeah, I do not like fighting two at, a, at the same time. Also, why is the game so laggy for me now? God damn it. They could keep doing all the all the poison stuff instead. That's fine. That will take some of the tension away from me. For fuck's sake. can't see. Died by poison. <laughs> um, for you, the poison would be more okay if it didn't do the staggering as well. Yeah, it took me a while before I noticed that as well. Working on their dance routine, no coordination whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. 
But it's it's not actually like honestly I fight I, I struggled more with uh, with uh, Gideon than these guys. Like this is less painful to to for me to do. He was a uh, he was Gumby. Gumby little bub bub is is Gumby like uh the green dude This boss fight is so ass these gargoyles are bad enough on their own without poison breath and another one yeah the annoying thing is that the the fact that it's a duo fight But I don't really mind the gargoyles too much. You hate fighting Gideon if your build if your build doesn't let you kill him before the fight gets going, then it's spell spin. Yeah, that's what I just did. I was just annoyed the entire thing the the entire time because I tried stabbing him in the back on the first attempt, but I was already using a weapon that I wasn't familiar with, and I wasn't I hadn't leveled it up too much either. So I didn't get to kill him on the first try. So then it was just a pain. Gumby's grumpy, he was just being a oh, okay, I see, I see. Well, I do know that there's a Gumby as well. Get away! Uh. Oh shit, I forgot to add poison bolluses. Dude, I rolled! Fuck off! Ah, uh, Jesus Christ. Let me get out of there. I can't see. <laughs> ah, fuck.
But yeah, I have I have this well, it's not it's more like a an unwritten rule. But as long as uh, a fight doesn't have like as long as it's a duo fight and you can summon I have no issue summoning because I mean I don't have issues with it anyway but I was trying not to summon in this fight or this game this playthrough but like if they are two then I should be able to be I should also be able to have two Can we fuck off with the poison right now? I just want to move around. What? But I rolled! Why can you not lock onto the other one? Yes, of course, more poison. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna summon because I don't care. <sighs> no shame in summon, they they're in the game, so you might as well use it. Yeah, I, I know. But yeah, I I didn't mind using summons in, in the first playthrough. And so far I've only summoned with NPCs. Been poisson, yeah, been poisson. <laughs> Summon the Dean, no? <laughs> Let me uh, switch out these with the the balances. Hey, black cats! You just got home from grocery shopping, so we back after you put them away. <gasps> nice. It's nice to see you, though. Also, I know that the timer has run out, but... I kind of want to try again. No, fuck, I forgot to summon. Oh, well. But the funny thing is, in, in my first playthrough... <laughs> I was so overleveled when I got here that I did it on my first try. <laughs> so it was it, so it was it was a little bit different for me the first time. Stop it.
Why does that do damage to me when he's in the air? Also, my timing is off sometimes. Why do you insist on being in the croissant? Why do you have to do that now while there's another one here? I wanted to make sure that I got more damage in before we could reach. I'm surprised that the I didn't take enough poison damage there to get fully poisoned. Jesus Christ, how long did that poison go? Uh, yeah. uh, uh. It's like in Wimdy. It is. I guess I'm gonna summon now. <laughs> to eat something that you don't have and wouldn't have energy to make even if you had ingredients and night as well hmm wait have you started ordering uh groceries at home orion i i highly recommend it <laughs> i highly recommend it i mean it will be late to do too late to do that right now but I'm so glad that I, I, if I don't want to, I would never have to grocery shop again, like in a, a shop. And I can't believe I waited this long to do it. 
because I just assumed that it was very expensive here. Which it wasn't. It wasn't too expensive. It was actually very cheap. I always assumed that it was for more, you know, well-off people than me. <laughs> You know how the pancakes is the closest, you think? Is it kind of like crepes? <laughs> You've done that a couple of times, but the only option is super small market, so the option is not super big, and also you can't order specific things. Because you don't want other people touching them, even though they would be in a package. Like certain food items. But people would have touched them when they are in the shop too, though. I mean, the food that I got was in, in, in a cardboard box. D, Beholder of Death. Let us do it. I don't think I've ever summoned D for this fight. Well, I've only done it once before. In single player, at least. Stop moving. Oh, nice. Don't do anything. There we go. At least it goes faster as well, which is nice. Worth it. You don't both have to go for him. I'm just trying to stay away from the poison. There we go. Only one. And D isn't even dead. No, why are you staying too far away? Oh no.
No. I want to avoid that. Stop doing the spin to win. No, fuck off. There we go. Fucking off, as you should. <laughs> there we did it. There we did it. It's not as bad when I get to use a, a weapon that I'm comfortable with. As well as having someone take some of the aggro. <laughs> Um, let's see. Because as soon as there's a duo fight, I think it's only fair that you also get to summon one. <laughs> if they're gonna be so rude. Thank for the GGs. He's just beholding the death. Yeah, you mean D? Um... If stuff is closed, but, um, stuff is closed, but even if you had the ingredients, you can't start to bake or use the pan. You don't know where to be. You wouldn't even have the energy or capacity. Yeah. For those days, it's nice to have, like, ready-made stuff, so you don't actually have to make it. You can just heat it up. I have done that on occasion, even though I know, like, making it yourself is super easy, but I just can't right now. <laughs> Your heart has never been so full. Oh, that's so adorable. Void can you suck up all the light so they can give it to their par 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 parents? Wait, I thought you didn't like puns, black cats. <laughs> Wait, well, I thought, no, he won't show up there, does he? Let's take the... I'm just gonna double check, just to see. Today's the first day you could wear actual clothes without melting. You finally have a cool weather today. Oh, damn. That's good. That's good. Here it's been the opposite. These past few days, it's been so warm. It's like, it's been a proper like, Indian summer type. Like, I had... I was so warm when I was sleeping. I had to take off my duvet. And trust me when I say... Like, sure, I, I get very cold when I sleep. So, or at least when I try to sleep. And so, so I've been using a winter duvet all year. Like the entire year. And it has not been an issue. It has not been too warm. But today it was. And that's saying something. Like, not, like, I've... I've used it the entire summer. I, I I don't know how that's possible, but you could also think you bought ingredients for pancakes. Do you think pancakes also closes board for that as well? And for that, you wouldn't have to do anything but the stuff and put in the oven. But you don't want to make it alone because you weren't supposed to. Majun, wait, because you were supposed to with June, and also you don't have the capacity for anything. 
Yeah. You came up with that one yourself, so he gets a pass. Hey, it's still a pun if you make it up yourself. That just means- that means that you even- like, puns even more because you made one yourself. And no one who doesn't like puns wouldn't try to make their own puns. That's kind of the whole point. Not that you just recycle other people's puns. <laughs> I always find this so silly. <laughs> like, it's so- it's such a silly way to try. I wonder why they thought that was a like a, a, a good idea. I don't know. I mean, it looks cool with the water though, but the 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 little lift itself kind of silly. It's better than rowing up the thing yourself for sure. Y yeah, but it. Like, the one going down the waterfall, that makes sense. But here with the, the going the opposite way. <laughs> hey, I will not, I will not shush, Black Hats. Do you know it to be true? I don't know, couldn't they just have an elevator there? That would be locked behind a... A fog gate or something? I don't know. How does one get their coffin waterfall pilot's license? Hey, that's what I'm saying. But yeah, we used the Urtree uh, staff earlier. The staff of the Urtree. Sadly, we only got to use it all against uh, Gideon, though. So, um... Didn't get to fully see how it worked. <laughs> uh. Got another one. Another one. Elevator would ruin the immersion for sure. You mean like the other elevators in the game? <laughs> it's been in the high 90s, 30s uh, Celsius, you think? And today it's been, it's only 65, 18. It feels so nice to not be sick the second you wake up from the heat. Mm. Yeah, 18 is pretty common here. Wait, how, how many degrees are here right now? Game, I'm not in the game. Dude! How are you? Oh, it is 18 degrees right now. To be fair, it's almost midnight, though. <laughs> that is a type of elevator, though. Yeah, but it's more about the design, not how an elevator f functions. It's more about the design choice that is kind of strange. The temperature should always start with a one. I agree, except when it's one degree and a hundred degrees. Or more. In buying the wrong cereal, you should have been buying Elden Rings and not Dark Holes. <laughs> It's funny. <laughs> you think using that coffin feel, feels more realistic to that area than some other type of elevator, like metal box or platform, like other areas? 
This is more of the natural roots, you know, because there's... Yeah, but it's more about, like, the... It's not the coffin itself, it's more about how it's... Powered up, I guess. I don't know, maybe if they had dropped all, all the runes, and, like, the path of the runes and stuff, it would not look so silly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that there was a stupid ant. Or two. Wait, I can summon Torrent here. I forgot about that. To you in the US would mean either insanely hot or very cold. <laughs> yeah, but isn't that how it is normally anyway? Hmm. <laughs> Where exactly is the opening for uh, to? It's not here, is it? No, I don't think it's here. Um, but the one opening that is from from uh, the sewers near the the three fingers. <laughs> it's just we not trying to kill you. <laughs> You'll do temperature in Kelvin in the future, then you'll be all in inconvenience. <laughs> yeah, sure. That is the solution. Yeah, this this was not the one that I thought of because this is Hold on, I just really wanna do this. It's it's so much fun. So much fun popping, popping the rune. No, pop, popping the rune. Popping the the the. Popping the the ant pimple. I don't know. Man, if two hundred ninety-one kills, how much is that in Celsius? Thirty-four degrees. Well, that's disgusting. Come here. Is it the other way like you can get here from the three finger area? Yeah, you can. That's that's what I meant. But And I said that this is not it. I knew that. Uh, I'm just going here anyway. Um, I was just wondering which... Like, exactly where you end up. Because I, I have only seen you from the other side and I never really saw them move anywhere after that. That's 307 Kelvin. <laughs> Is that around 20 degrees? I I don't know. It's 18. Mm. Orion is smart. Orion is smart. It's true. Also, I know I don't have to kill all these. I'm just... Wait. 
Wait, why did I get all my flask refilled when there's still more in the ceiling? Oh, it's on the other level, I guess. Oh yeah, this is fun. <laughs> <sighs> you think that is not being smart, it's just fact stuff? But that's like... A lot of things about being smart is just remembering facts though, isn't it? Well, it depends on the type of smart. There are different ty types of... ...being smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me equip some... It's just so much fun! <laughs> and you get rune arcs from this as well. The fact of it's more too. Knowledge is just a series of remembered facts. Exactly! Well, some of it is. You feel that is different- wait, fuck! Different smart then, because you th it's different if you remember something and how he used that summoning for stuff. Yeah, but there's so many different types of being smart. That's just one of them. Wow, that does so little damage. I'm not even gonna bother with that. <laughs> I meant to switch to the other one. I actually don't dual wield much. I just do it in case w when I do remember. Oh. Isn't there words for those then? Uh, uh, yeah, smart. <laughs> There's just different ways of being smart, but you you still called smart, I guess. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Having knowledge versus applying knowledge, you know, your brain isn't the mood in the mood to do either of those today. Yeah, I'm also not in 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 the mood to be smart today. Even if that would be possible. You might be wrong, but you feel those are so different things. I mean, one thing is being knowledgeable. But that is also part of being smart, though. But then you also have... I don't know. I don't know. Words. Street smart versus book smart. I don't know. Street smart can be different things, though. In in the sense that that comes from experience more than being actual smart, right? Isn't it? Doing knowledge and being knowledge. <laughs> Doing knowledge and being knowledge. <laughs> Uh, your IQ is too low for this talk. Hey, that's why we're trying to raise it for all of us. Because maybe, maybe none of us actually do have the IQ for this. I don't know. <laughs> Be smart versus do smart. <laughs> because if being smart means that you have lots of knowledge, then you have the wrong definition of being smart. But there are many def definitions. That's the whole point. It's not just one definition. Ah, fuck. That was stupid. You thought that it was applying the knowledge and more like that? Hmm. Hey, Robin! Hello! It's been almost a 
whole year. Happy 11 months. Thank you so much, Robin, for being here for so long. Happy 11 months. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. You're just about to start this game? <gasps> well, good luck. I, I hope you enjoy it. It's it's a lot of fun. And, you know, if you enjoy exploration, that is the most fun of the entire first playthrough. Or at least it was for me. Just taking your time to explore every nook and cranny of the game. Just taking your time. I hope you enjoy it. Um, that is so annoying. <laughs> you want a copy of the DLC recently? Wait, was it in Salsa Stream? I know that she gave away a copy of, of the DLC in a giveaway. Sometimes you're smart, but it changes what you're smart about depending on things. Well, yeah, I think that's pretty normal. You had a feeling, <laughs> yeah. I, I I was I saw. I didn't I didn't partake because I already had the DLC. But I'm glad though. I'm glad. I do hope you like it. Even if it does get a little bit difficult at times, there's still ways to damn the tree took the the damage for me. There's still ways to make it easier, is what I'm trying to say. So, I hope you don't get discouraged if you get... if you find it too difficult at times, because there are always ways to make it a little bit easier. Oh fuck, I wasn't paying attention. Ow, fuck off. Get away. There we go. There we go. Uh, you have your son to give you co uh, coping advice. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> that is good. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. We do have anonymous follows, by the way, for people who just want to lurk in peace. Um. So no worry about being, no worries about being called out or anything for those who don't don't like that. It's a banger DLC. Yeah, we are pretty close to getting to the DLC. Um, technically, if I wanted to, we could beat the game today and then start the DLC next time. But I, I don't want to do that yet. Um, and when I, when I say could beat the game today, I mean if I really really wanted to and I summoned and everything because I if I'm not summoning I don't think I would be able to beat it today <laughs> um but thank you for the water redeem scoot but yeah I do try to not um summon this playthrough I've only well I have just summoned some NPCs in certain fights. That's about it. It was you, the exiled viking who followed me. <laughs> well, welcome in. Welcome in. I'm also uh, somewhat of a viking, uh, I guess. <laughs> welcome in, though. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well, and thank you so much for the follow. Yeah, we... we I'm just doing some alternative stuff now like some some extra stuff because we did get close enough to have like 
two boss fights left um, before beating the game. So this is more optional stuff. I'm sorry if it was in the UK you were exiled to. <laughs> Yeah, plenty of Vikings in the UK as well. That is true. That is true. Really need to get Elden Ring next month? <gasps> you haven't played it before? I highly recommend it. It is a very good game. It is a really good game. Especially, especially on a first playthrough. Because... The beauty of this game is, as I said before, uh, to Robin, is the exploration for me. But that is, I'm also very biased when it comes to exploration. That's usually what I enjoy the most in, in games. And I know not everyone feels that way. Um, John, by... Drawn by sacking Londinium, no doubt. Mm. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I think exiling someone to the UK counts as cruel and unusual punishment. Hmm. Does that mean that you think that Australians were liberated? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, you took many f physics, you think the word is? Of course, in the equiv equivalent of high school and many stuff is calculated with Kelvins when it's temperature stuff and you remember converting them. It was just adding that number. Oh, I see, I see. See, so you're applying your smartness, Orion. So you, that means that you're double smart because you not only know, but you also apply that knowledge. <laughs> Haven't played it. No, you have played a lot of Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3. Mm. Yeah, so this will be different than in the sense that it has a lot more exploration. Which... I would assume gives this game more replayability. But that also depends on who you ask. You still have not played the DLC since last time? I think it's been weeks. Hmm. You guess it does mean that? <laughs> yeah, they escaped. They escaped to Australia. But that was only about uh, remembering the number. Hmm. Four <laughs> Wait, so do you guys, Scoot and Chris, do you guys have some 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 Viking uh ancestry? Well I mean, I guess a lot of people in the UK do. You were sure paid your visit today, you saw many, many crows on your walk. Ooh that's nice. Yeah, Chris, he, he goes and visits uh, all his children. <laughs> Glad to see you too. <laughs> uh, I also saw a crow outside my window at work on Wednesday, and when I was about to take a picture, it flew away. Chris didn't want to be in, in a picture that day. You've always been drawn to the adventuring <clears throat> with bonus puzzling games such as Breath of the Wild. Well, they do say that uh, Dark Souls games are inspired by uh, Zelda games as well. Among other games, of course. Um, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in, welcome in. Um, but yeah, this game has a lot of uh, exploration. A lot of it. Which is why it's it's so good. In my opinion. 
Uh, your whole family is either Norwegian or Danish. Wait, so are you from the UK? Or are you from uh, Scandinavia? You probably do, to be honest. You live on the northern coast, so there were lots and lots of Viking landings there. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Hm. I've been here thinking about explaining without overly explaining, only to realize you're overthinking this and just got judging and discerning mixed up. Mmm. I see, I see. Hey, you're all good, though. It's just sometimes I get a little bit sensitive as well. So I get a little bit uh, extra... Well... Sensitive, I guess. <laughs> um, he's camera shy. He is. He is. There's a high chance that even when being thorough, there can be a whole areas that are missed on first runs. True. I missed. I missed a lot of things in my first playthrough. You are Scandinavian. Wait, are you Norwegian or Danish? I mean, you don't have to say. I'm just. I just. I'm just asking. Wait, so who is down here again? What, which boss is that again? I forgot. I forgot. It's been a while since I did this. And this level- no, if you take uh, the coffin down. I feel like judging has a lot of negative connotations when it doesn't necessarily mean in a bad way. Yeah. Yeah, that's why also when, when people say judging, it's usually meant in a bad way. Even though you can judge something without it being... Without it being negative, but it's usually used in a negative setting, I guess. <laughs> mm, you live in Denmark, but you have Danish and half Norwegian. Ooh, that's cool. That's cool. Hey. Well, I'm also Norwegian. So, welcome in fellow fellow Norwegian. Um, but yeah, which which boss is down here again? You didn't know you could travel in that coffin? You didn't? Well, I can show you then. You can. I just forgot where it takes you. Off your own weekend adventure and foods. Good night, all. Thank you so much for being here, Robin. And thank you so much for the resub as well. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. <laughs> Only knew the boss knew the tree and the up, uh, and up there. And the damn bear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, did you do... I mean, you don't, don't ask me. <laughs> um... Oh yeah, no, 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 it brings you where Ronnie is. Or, no, Ron, not Ronnie, but... Yeah, yeah, now I remember. Yeah, it's just a shortcut down here. Uh, to where you find Ronnie's doll. Yeah, so it's not a boss. I just forgot that there's a... It just takes you down here. You made a mistake, you started watching cooking videos and now you're hungry. <gasps> Do you have food, at least? I thought you were near this coffin on the new run, but missed the prompt to be in the coffin. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's just a shortcut, though. And see, right right there is where you get the, the doll. The Ronnie doll. And then you just have to fast travel back up there. <laughs> well... there. Make your own cooking video to counter the urge to eat. Hmm. Yeah, because then you will be too busy filming, so it will be cold. Wait, no, not here. I meant... I, I already... But that's kind of cool. Mm. Yeah, if you get here early, then you already find a different path. 
down to to continuing her quest line. But you do have food, but it's nearly midnight and you should not eat at this hour. Yeah, I mean, I keep thinking that as well, but then it's like, but my degen sleep schedule uh, kind of forces me to eat at degen hours. <laughs> so it's like, I, I, I have to eat sometimes too, you know? Thank you so much for the lurk, Swag. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a good weekend. Uh, wait, where am I trying to- Ah, oh, fuck. Go away. Wait, no! Poor Torrent. Jesus Christ. I meant to go up there. <laughs> That's where I meant to go. <laughs> uh, to the boss. I just I just got a little bit distracted on the way. Oh yeah, there's a an airlift here. Should have should have taken that instead. Actually, let me just d jump down here so I can de-aggro from those people. Mmm. <laughs> You don't remember, you might have maybe done that in the first run, but maybe you didn't. You need to eat right now. Do it, do it. Uh, it's okay, you get the same way at times too. You were just trying to think of a way to explain because you didn't want me to think you were being mean or hating the way I play. I mean, that, yeah, that's that's fair. I'm, I'm glad you're telling me though. It's just sometimes it's... Streaming this, like, these types of games can also be a little bit risky sometimes because people have a lot of opinions and usually non-positive opinions. Not about the game, but about people playing the games. Um, so it's also you end up being a little bit on edge uh, at times about how people word things, about how you, you're approaching the game and how you're doing things. Am I having a break next ad? Uh, I should. <laughs> I probably should. Um, DJ sleep schedule leads to you making pancakes at 1am. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. You don't really have a lot to eat though. Hey, as long as you have something. People <laughs> uh, I forgot that the, that was an emote. Or they think they're giving good advice, but it's actually not. Uh, then they get defensive and mean when they get called out or something. That is also true. A lot of people tend to love backseating these games too. And telling you how to do things. Uh, which is also not a lot of fun. You have to save the one thing for tomorrow, so that is kind of the only thing. Hmm... Only right way to place and no, uh, no leveling, no summoning, and no magic. Also, don't forget, uh, you can't use your hands. You have to use your feet. And also, you need to be blindfolded. That's the most important part. So you have to be blindfolded. Why do you have to lock off? I'm doing so much damage anyway that I don't care if I take damage while doing that. <laughs> like, I'm not 
actually looking for openings. Well, I rolled way too soon there. Touching the keyboard, that's easy mode. Mm. Yeah. You're really a gamer if you use summoning, magic, hands, monitor, controller, keyboard, PC, electricity. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's all easy mode, Orion. That's for noobs. Blindfolded only feet. You don't know if that kind of stuff is allowed on Twitch. That's also a good point. So, only fake gamers can play this game on Twitch. No controller, only dance dance pad. Mm. Yeah, so I guess Lua is the only one who can play this game on stream. Let alone use game mechanics, yeah. <laughs> only Donkey Kong bo bongos. That would be kind of fun, though. I guess. What the heck is wrong with easy mode or accessibility for real? I, I, I don't know. God damn it. I was just getting my runes. Damn. Ugh, I hate the delayed attacks. I hate it so much. Oh, you were about to get up. <laughs> no, fuck, I was too far away. Great enemy felled. Uh, or bananas. <laughs> you don't remember which game, but some people have beaten Souls games with fruits or potatoes or something. Really? But... Is it... Do they do that in the same way that, you know, you can hook up uh, potato- like, making a potato clock or something? There was someone who also beat Elden Ring two times, like, played two at the same time. Oh yeah, I've seen that too. Yeah, Lua also beat it with a drawing pad. Luality, I mean. I'm just so used to- Calling her just Lua. Not sure if you know what a potato clock is. I. So I think it was something. Isn't that something people have done in like. on school in the US or something? I know it's not a thing here, but I think I've heard of it at least. Like a school science project type of thing. You can power clocks using potatoes. Mm. Washer too. I mean, Lua was one of the first people uh, that I started following on Twitch back in 2019, I think. I think with that, I started following her when she was playing The Witcher 3. Basically a tiny battery. Mm. We finally started the DLC for the newest Pokemon game, and it's so tedious. Hmm. It's not fun. Want to say you can only use your mind, but someone did that too. Oh yeah, yeah, I think I saw... Well, I didn't see the video itself, I just saw a thumbnail or something about a YouTube video about it. 
Oh, wait, what am I trying to do? I think the people beating it using fruit will be using something like a makey, makey, makey? Which lets you turn anything semi-conductive into pressing buttons for you. Mm. Also, I don't know if she still follows me or not, but I know that Alua started following me when I when I raided her on my birthday once. <laughs> but I, I don't know if she still does though, because this was very early on when I started streaming. I think it was in 2020. Oh fuck, I should not have done that. I forgot. I was like, which direction is the is the the lift again? Well, it, it was not there. It was the other way. <laughs> See, this is what happens when I do not pay attention to the game or the the chat, but I try to keep it, pay attention to both at the same time. I didn't start watching her until last year, but only on YouTube. Hmm. Hasn't she also done many balls? Yeah, she has. She also got a birthday cake from them on the that last panel they did in. Where did they go? Where was it? It was sometime last week because it was her birthday last week. Uh, I think. And then she got a, a plushie that they called Halson that she also ha brought with her on the plane. <laughs> so it had its own, its own um, plane seat. But yeah, she also beat the, the game without long resting as well. Go here, travel back there, go all the way across, no go back again. It's just kind of annoying because all your main Pokemon are really strong, so the battles are a breeze, but all the back and forth to do one thing is obnoxious. Yeah, fetch quests in games are not fun, ever. You think you still got a letter that Boo has eaten half of somewhere? <laughs> oh. Yeah, it was so sad because uh, I remember when she had her previous bunny as well. And then she got Boo a little while after from her parents. I, th I think her parents had, like they, I don't know, do they like breed bunnies? And then they had uh, Boo, so she got Boo. Also, I forgot how to... Uh, where what I was supposed to do. Yeah, I'm gonna go up here. Commander, yeah, commander. I knew it was in, I knew it was some sort of uh, military title. I just forgot which one. <laughs> and yeah, he was the one uh, that she made all her emotes after. Hey. <laughs> I didn't know you could kill that. Oh, that's cool. No, I, I didn't mean to do that. I just did somehow. You think they should have brought a uh, hard mode back from Pokemon Black and White? Oh fuck! How did you get up here? I think they just straight up went and got her a bunny. He used to thank you for joining the bunny army when you first subscribed. That didn't happen with me, and I always use my prime sub on her. Ah, oh, fuck.
Hmm. That's an option. They're tossing- wait, they're tossing death sticks? Yeah, they are. Really mean. Really rude. I think it was an odd chance depending on what was going on in stream. Hmm. Yeah, it's been a while since I, I last subbed to her channel, though, because I kind of stopped after a while to watch because, well, uh, just because I got to know a lot of other people as well, and then it just happened, I guess. Um, I haven't actually mentioned this, but... It was because of Lua that I got to know my previous best friend as well. So that was also kind of cool. Didn't even know they did that. Yeah, I haven't seen that before either. I mean, this should be fine. Yeah. Didn't even take damage. Ah, fuck off. We can- we can do it. We can do it. Oh, there's one here as well. I forgot about that. Ow, ow, no! Shit. Well, that wasn't my intention. I thought it would just stop there because it didn't move anywhere. The fire. Oh well. Does that count as gravity? Or did I die before I was yeeted off? <laughs> no, I think I died by, by getting yeeted off. You tried watching her... Play, uh, Dragon Age the Va uh, Veil Guard, but it feels like people are being either too positive or too negative around that game. I haven't seen anything. Um... I have it in my wish list, but I haven't I haven't seen like I try to stay away from most that was unexpected. <laughs> Thank you, Blues. I do not think that I've ever heard that song by uh See what I mean? I'm blanking on every name now. I'm blanking on all the names. I even have one of the albums. Only one, though. I used to listen to Battle Studies all the time. Because it's one of the few albums that actually has no skips. Um... <laughs> no, but it's it's so true. Like I keep forgetting basic words as well. Like normal words that I have no problem remembering. It just I just blank out on everything. It's really annoying. I mean, I, am I safe here? I guess not. Well, I guess I am. Never mind. <laughs> I 
But yeah, thank you for the 100 bits, though. <laughs> uh... Mm. You got yourself some bread? Nice. Nice. That is good. Oh yeah, isn't this where I'm supposed to go? I thought it was higher up for some reason. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I thought I needed to go higher up. Um... Were those a hundred bits? <laughs> well, I'm glad. Uh, but it didn't... Don't really... It didn't really put anything on it. Mm. I do that all the time. I also do not put things on... Bread a lot of the time. It depends on the bread, though. If the bread is really good, I don't bother. Did I die to gravity? Well, I was... I was... It's... Did I die before? Or after? Because I got... I took fire damage. And that's how I got yeeted off the edge. But I don't know if that killed me. Or if I died by gravity. <laughs> I was forcefully motivated off a tree branch. It's true. It is true. It happens. It's not the best without anything, even when toasted, but you just don't have the energy. Mm. Actually, you know, I should probably pop some runes so I can level up at least once, because just in case I die, how much do I need? Because I'm not that far away. Yeah. And again, one of my strong suits. Math. <laughs> we can pop all of these. Well, surely there has been some that has not been counted, so we can count that one? Sure. Sure. No, not item crafting. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure if one would count would, would would be enough, or if I need two, because I forgot to see. I only saw the first two numbers. Or... Oh, it was enough. Okay. One was enough. <laughs> um... John Meyer, that's that's who I meant to say. They, 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 we, we, we got there in the end. <laughs> uh, we got there in the end. Um... Fine. See, now I only have a thousand and eighty-four runes, so if I die, it will be fine. It was a journey, but we got there. Uh, hey, as long as I got there, that is the important part. And I didn't even cheat. I didn't even look it up. But yeah, this is what I mean. I have issues with my memory these days, with so many things. Those who seek danger over cheese don't tend to live as long. Exactly, right? Though. Though. Exactly, Gail. <laughs> but thank you, Ryan. Hey! No!
worth it. The heal, I mean. No. Dude, why is this one so fast? Holy shit. <laughs> you didn't even get a hit. Okay, this is a pain in the ass. What? Rude. We share the same hat. We fashion bros. Yeah, I don't like this spell. I don't like anything that homes in on me. catch up uh cheese exactly exactly uh being hugged by fia also counts she downloads your social security number and can put the player character to fight in there as well so it's kind of cool to see raji here because he had also done the hug mm. yeah the hug only the hug <laughs> fun fact the original sound effects you're Looking forward the cheese thing was the one she Gorth said. Oh yeah, wait, what was that line again? It's been so long since I played Skyrim, but that quest was one of the the, the most fun. Uh, being online, you mean offline? They're all NPCs. Mm, I see, I see. Yeah, I've never played this game online. <laughs> I always play offline. Um, You don't remember if some are rotated, but some are always because you think Lionel is every time as well. Yeah. Yeah, we're fashion bros. <laughs> Thank you, right? I think it's cool that you can see the curse mark when doing the thing. Mm. Let me tell you a joke you to tickle your funny bone. Uh, wait, okay. I... Uh, because I don't want... I don't want to summon... The, the dragon before I rested, at least. Also, I forgot to equip my weapon. A weapon. We also do get an ad in like 12 minutes. Maybe I should just start the ad now and take a break because I haven't taken a break yet. Before the the stuff happens. 
Mm. And yeah. It might be a little bit longer than the, just the, the ad break, though. Like, maybe five or more minutes instead of three. Uh, when you look at Godwin, all that comes to mind is a Zelda. A Zelda game. Mm. How so? I haven't played a lot of Zelda games. Um, can you do double at it? No. I wish I could, because that would sometimes be better, so I could just avoid ads for like two hours instead. <laughs> I wish that was possible, so you could take a longer break if you needed it. But it is what it is. But yeah, I'll be right back, guys. I'll be right back, and then we're gonna finish up Fia's quest. Okay? Okay. See you in a bit. You take a break too. Get water. Do what what you need to do.
Orion, what are you doing? What are you up to? What is that? <laughs> Thank you so much, Orion. Gifting a sub to surprise. I'm supposed. Well, I was on a break, <laughs> but now I'm, I'm off the break. <laughs> uh, also, Sirius just got in, and he. I haven't seen him all day. So I am. Um, it was really nice to. <gasps> what? <Well, laughs> Orion! Orion, thank you so much. And thank you for welcoming me back. Wel welcoming me back. Thank you. you you're too kind. You're too kind. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys had a break too. Hope you guys had a break too. Thank you, Ryan. Hey, Zoom boy, how you doing? Let us talk to Fia. Twitch is being mean to you? Yeah, I saw. Are they censoring your messages? Wait, what were you, what were you trying to say? Well, I mean, I guess if you try to say, maybe they will censor it again. Ah, there you are. I knew you would come. What is it you intend? To deny us and our ways? Like the dogmatic brutes of the Golden Order. No. No, I want to be held. <laughs> you are an odd one. Yes, I am. I am the guardian of those who live in death. They call me a foul and rotten witch. Yet you still wish to be held by me? Me. Unless being emotional and crying is too much and giving up. Wait, no. What do you, what do you, what is what is wrong? Talk in secret. Let's talk in secret. Have you ever seen a hallow brand? When the first of the demigods died, his flesh was marked with the half wheel wound of the centipede. Godwin's hallow brand has since been recovered at the round table hold. But there is another hallow brand out there somewhere, and I must find it before the time comes we receive our Lord. Let's talk in secret. When Godwin died, a hallow brand scored his flesh, but another exists. Another mark in the shape of the half wheel wound of the centipede, and I must find it before the time comes. We receive. I just want to see if she said anything else. Will be dirtied once more by the. And she kind of did. Will you still let me hold you, even then? Hmm. Hmm. And um, you thought the "No, I want to be held" it was me quoting Orion. I think it's time you go to bed. <laughs> uh, scoot. <laughs> you gave up on Pantheon Five for now. You died to Great Prince Oats and went to practice only him, but you weren't getting anywhere, and you were just crying the whole time. Which didn't help, and you feel like it would be fine if it just wasn't after Markoth, because you usually leave that fight with a low masks and or soul, and two times you got to Great Prince. So then, in Pantheon Five, he opened with an exploding, with the exploding balloons, and it's just RNG, so that sucked. But do you think it will give more practice someday when you're more mentally prepared to fail? <sighs> yeah, I honestly, the fact that both you and Ghost have even put like bothered putting so much time in it is beyond me i i would also be crying out of frustration because <laughs> it is so difficult <laughs> but i believe you can do it one of these days orion and yeah sometimes the being in the right state of mind matters a lot this is copy from before, but you only changed the start, which was... It is not... Oh... Oh, maybe it was a bit too long before then. Maybe it will ended up being maybe like one... Letter too much or something.
Mm, at this moment, you're not taking it well when you fail in Hollow Knight because it's a game that you have found success in and you have the knowledge to win. But you're not even being able to get to Abstrad so you could practice that wasn't very good. Yeah. Yeah. I can understand that. Some days you just not in, in the right headspace for it. But I know, Orion, I know everything you've done. I know we talked when you did your first playthrough as well. I know you have the skills to do it. So, it's just not the day today. It's just not the right day for it today. But now it was longer? Oh, that's weird. I don't know then. How does one talk about a woman's weight without being crucified? Why would you need to talk about a woman's weight though? It's lengthen yours. Don't send it all. Uh, send all the time because of character length, so he won't censor you. But he won't actually send the message through because it's too long. Yeah, but the one that got through was longer. It didn't give the message, and it did before you change things. Hmm. That's weird. I don't know then. You might not have the skill to be abstract, actually. Yes, you do. You do. Because you've done it before. Just not in the, the Pantheon itself, right? You keep looking back on your reply and would like to say it was skill and luck. Hmm. I mean, yeah, it is It is both skill and luck, because sometimes it is RNG that fucks you over as well. That's just Twitch being glitchy, Twitch then. Mm. You also might have not the best patience at practicing. Yeah, that's why I haven't done it either, because I know I don't have the patience for it. Um, You haven't. Well, I'm sure you will eventually, but you, you, you've been able to to practice on it in the Pantheon, like uh, like outside of Pantheon Five, right? So you can still practice on it. It should be glitch instead of Twitch. Mm. The past couple of weeks, you've been getting a bunch of messages failed to send when you type in chat. Yeah, that is weird. I don't know if I've gotten that before. D does it matter if you're on phone or PC? I don't know. You're having a conversation with someone and she's talking about how she gained weight and you're like, no, dumbass will say something stupid because it's a sensitive to topic to women. Well, I mean, I... Do you have to say something, though? You could just talk around the subject if you... Unless she's straight up asking you directly if you think that she has gained weight or something. Because then she is obviously asking because she wants an answer to it. If she doesn't want an answer to it, she shouldn't ask. But if she's not asking you specifically, I don't think that I would say anything about it. Try to talk around it if you can. I feel like that's the best thing to do with most sensitive topics. This exactly has been happening apparently randomly. You, you think she looks great and don't really notice the difference? Well, then you should say that. I don't think she would... If you say it like that, I don't think she... Well, I mean, I don't know the person. But... That doesn't seem like something that would be taken in a negative way. I think you're, you're good to say that, but again, that's just me, though. Only on PlayStation 4 and you got their own place uh, on Pantheon 
five not on PC, so you had to get there on PC first. Oh, okay, okay. Well, yeah, so you have already gotten there then. So you, you can get to the point where you can, you can practice it at least. I think you can do that. You just copy and paste message and send it again and it works. No big deal. Not, not a big deal, just kind of annoying. Mm. She didn't ask, it was just brought up because you asked how she's been. Mm. Well, I mean, that thing that you said would have been a positive thing, in my opinion. So I don't think that would be a bad thing, but... I don't know. It's hard to give advice on these things when you don't know the person and you don't know the, like, if you haven't seen the conversation itself unfold and everything and you don't know the tone of everything, it's hard to say. Context is always important, yeah. You're on PC and yeah, messages have just been occasionally not sending the past month or so. You don't know why. Hmm. Well, that's annoying. But not on PC and you're not doing it on PlayStation 4 right now? No, but I mean, as long as you've done it before, that means that even though you, you've, you're not doing the best right now, I believe you can do it. Knowing that you have gotten to that point before, even if it is on a different... Uh platform this is the other hello brand how did you oh my utmost thanks with this godwin can take his rightful place as first of the dead and claim a second illustrious life you are my our true champion and though i can't be of any use to you can i hold you tight if only for a moment. Hmm. It's just on PlayStation 4, you didn't have to do Great Britain, so... Hmm. Talk in secret. I will soon lay with Godwin. And it will surely stir within me the new life of the Golden Prince and first dead of the demigods as the rune of those who live in death. Please, do one thing for me. Brandish this child, my rune, and take for yourself the throne. Stay the persecution of those who live in death by becoming our Elden Lord. Well, of course. Um, well, good night, Scoot. I hope you have a good night and and uh, a great rest of your weekend as well. I hope, hope you sleep well. And thank you so much for for hanging out and resubbing too and gifting a sub. You're too kind. You're too kind. If you don't save Zot, you don't get to fight him. Yeah. Yep. So, it is the smart thing to do. Wait, did you save him, Ghost? Well, I, I'm, you must have, because you already knew of the... The precepts and stuff. Yeah, you did. And on PC, we're trying the Pantheons with the God Seeker mode, and that lets you start in the God Home, so... Certain choices has been made, like with charms and all the bosses naturally are there. Hmm. I wish there was also an option to de-upgrade Nail in Pantheon, like for the Hall of Gods fight for practice. Hmm. Oh yeah, 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 when you do, because you can do it in, in the Pantheon th them, themselves, but you can't do it in each specific fight. Wait, no, can't you do nail bindings in each? Oh. And you had the thing on the Hall of Gods list, you asked about it as well. Hmm. Oh, okay. 
I see, I see. Yeah. Let's see if she has anything more to say. I will soon lay to oh. conceive my child. The brandish my rune. Stay the persecution of those who live in death by becoming our Well, I guess she I will to conceive brandish stay the by becoming I need to I need to make sure. Hmm. Wait, what was the last thing? Wait, no. Oh, I know. Never mind. Don't don't tell me. For a second there, I kind of forgot how this goes. From here. there was also an option to have both charms in god home or at least in god seeker mode wait what both charms there's an alternative ending for the grim troop than fighting nightmaker and grim oh yeah, yeah yeah that's true i've gotten both Wait, so what is the next step in the quest? Am I supposed to go and talk to her again after resting? keep forgetting that that is what I need to do. <laughs> uh, you can't have them both at the same time. I forgot what it even does. Like, I forgot what the, the, uh, charm does. This is goodbye, my dear. But I am satisfied. I choose to lie with Godwin of my own will. Not the remains of one chosen for me. And I will bear a child who will inherit your warmth too. What greater blessing could there be but to be born a deathbed companion? Mm. This is goodbye. But I am so I choose to and I will bear who will okay. inherit what okay. greater okay. I need a hug. I do like a good hug. Do we have a hug? We do. We do. Uh, like, this fight wasn't too bad in my first playthrough, but now I'm kind of nervous about it because... I forgot how it goes. I've only done it once. And it's been... Over two years.
Ow. Also, the music is so disturbing for this. Ow. I also don't like fighting dragons. God damn it. Because it's so hard to hit them. And also being locked on, it's like... No! It's like, it's nice to be locked on, but at the same time, it's not. See, I even hit when I... No, I, I don't hit, I mean. <laughs> I rolled right into that. Ah, oh, god damn it. Can you stop? This is, this is not an enjoyable fight. Anything that does, like, lightning damage is a pain in the ass. Uh... Hold on. Um, hey, Jose, how you doing? How dare I spoil the DLC for you by playing the game? But I haven't played the DLC. This isn't the DLC. <laughs> what do you mean? But also, hi. Welcome in, welcome in. Go follow Jose if you haven't already. Do it, do it. The fight was the first Elden Ring video you've seen of mine on YouTube. This one? Really? If you don't want to know, don't read this message. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna read it out loud then. Oh, I didn't know that. I never really used it. There's a way to use that charm for help with the Radiant fight because the effect, it doesn't reset when you die or it's equip unequipped. Oh, interesting. Mm, it just misread my title, didn't have videos yet. Oh, yeah, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, no, I am... Um, I'm not on the DLC yet. It's just to let people know that they won't get spoiled by the DLC. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is not a this is not a fun fight. I do remember that it was. I was so glad that I did it really quickly. My first time, because I did not enjoy it. <laughs> you going to sleep now? Hesitation is defeat. Thank for stream. Thank you so much for being here, Ghost. I hope you have a wonderful night. And a good weekend as well. 
Your joke was ruined. <laughs> hey, it's all good. It's all good. God damn it. Yeah, I hate fighting dragons because they are... ...too big. I can't see everything, and that's what's bothering me with these fights. Yeah. Knock me out of the way, you stupid leg. God damn it. Okay, I have no idea what happened there. No, what? I still missed? Again? See? There's... Might as well grab my runes. I also feel like the, the fire shouldn't do too much damage because of the water here. You died. Nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I did this pretty fast. I, I don't know if it was the first or the second or whatever try or on my first playthrough as well, but it was, I just remembered it was not enjoyable. It was a pain in the ass. Thank you for the GGs. I was so focused I didn't notice my- wait. My... Mobar? What is my Mobar? Um, you were super bad at fighting dragons, yet there's a technique to it, but you're still bad at it. Yeah, it's like sometimes it's good to lock on, but most of the times it's not. But it, it really depends on the dragon too, by how they move and what their attacks are. 
And I just, I just don't like it. <laughs> I just don't like it. The chickens, yeah, exactly, the chickens. I believe I caught a lot of my boss fights. I, I'm not sure what you mean. Oh yeah, yeah, I caught all of them. I, I posted all of the, the boss fights uh, in my first playthrough because I didn't, I didn't have the full VODs. I don't know why, but I just didn't save the entire VODs. I just saved the, the, the boss fights. Um, so every single boss fight that I did in my first playthrough is up on YouTube. Um, just not the entire VODs, unfortunately. Planning to do the DLC later on. Uh, no, I'm, I'm planning on doing it on this one. Um, I'm gonna do it on this one. This is the, this is the character that I, like, this is my first playthrough, uh, character. That I went into New Game Plus on. So I'm just gonna keep doing it on this because I don't have, um, I would have to start over if I wanted to do it on, uh, not New Game Plus. <laughs> oh, FP, I see, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, it's low, but it's still not. You know, there's still some left. But it still does a lot of damage. Th well, I mean, not a lot. But it still does more damage than regular attacks. Even if you do use up FP. Um, so it's still worth doing. It's just the ones that require spells and stuff. But Unsheath works pretty well either way. Um, even without FP. But yeah, it, so it wasn't it wasn't even empty yet, <laughs> not quite. <laughs> um, Elden Ring seems more daunting to start a new playthrough on. There's so much content. Yeah, but that yeah, it's true. But I also kind of like it though. I kind of like it because it's nice to be able to to have more freedom. Um, by being able to walk around and do other things if you feel like you, you're not ready for something yet. To do more exploration and, and... You can't really be locked, like soft locked in the game as easily. Well, not soft locked, but you know, where you just feel like you can't progress, is what I mean. Hey, Quantum Tree, welcome in, welcome in. Which I feel like is very difficult to do in a lot of other Souls or Souls-like games where... Well, when they're more linear, because you... You kind of just have to push through and, and force yourself to, to get better. <laughs> Which, you know... Tend to do anyway. Because it's... Even if you are... have have a pretty high level... That doesn't mean that you still can't get stuck somewhere when you need to progress in the story. Um, if you both have advantages and disadvantages depending on on playstyle. Yeah, like with most things really. Mending Rune of the Death Prince. I get so mad now at what happens. Which is why I hate him. I, I absolutely can't stand him. Ha! Prince of Death, take a good long look. See the wrath of the Golden Order. The Order's justice writ in blood. Should I just kill him now? What's become of your precious <laughs> witch? What's the meaning? Very well. I'm. I. I am. I didn't murder your brother. Your corpse into that vile... <sighs> How could this... <laughs> How could this be? This diary... Di diary... See, you didn't have to do that. I don't even want to hear him talk because... He pisses me off. I got so mad at my first playthrough at him. Uh, 
That's why I never do his quest. But I mean, you can't avoid... Uh, you can't avoid that happening if you want to do her quest though, right? Usually never just attack NPCs, but this one you did too. Hmm. Yeah, I usually don't do that either, but... Well, now it depends. If I've already seen it happen before... I do. Yeah, this is where we need to go to do the, the, the start the DLC, but I, I feel like- I think I'm gonna do that after beating the game. If I don't give him the armor, he doesn't show up. Oh, I see, I see. Wait, Sophia will live then? She does? Really? I didn't know that. I didn't know there was a way for her to live. Okay, where to then? Mm. She still dies? Okay. Wait, but how does she die then if he doesn't kill her? Also, I wonder what happens with Bok though, because he still hasn't he he hasn't done anything now. <laughs> Too exhausted from sleeping. Or go into some sort of deep sleep. Oh. Bok, this seems ready to make. Going, please. Yeah, I think maybe I messed up this quest by doing two different things. <laughs> I think maybe it confused the game a little bit. Ugh. Uh. Do you want confirmation on that? Uh, sure. I actually don't really mind. But yeah, I do feel like I... I kind of fucked up the whole thing by doing... You don't think it has been confused? Oh, okay. So will it just progress? Uh, how will it progress, though? You think I did his quest now? Oh, so it's over? Oh, okay. Well, that was very anticlimactic. If you don't do the beautiful thing but give the larval, there is a thing that happens. Oh, what happens? You you can tell me. I don't I don't mind because I I Well, I mean, I assume that he will take a new form, but in what way? I don't know. He stays there alive and you can talk to him. Not many NPCs have that fate in these games. True, but it's just it doesn't feel like it's finished is what I mean. When I mean like anticlimactic, I just mean that it's just it feels like it's still kind of like a loose end because it doesn't have like a finish in a way. He goes to Renala. Yeah, but what happens? Does she just does he just just turn it? What does he turn into? I think he also dies after that. Mm. What? So you you know that now then that that you can do both. <laughs> Become a, a sweeting, but 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 we can also do that and still not die. <laughs> I am- I'm actually so nervous about this because I... 
Because in my first playthrough I used summons. Right? So I didn't actually get to learn his movesets. As in Hora Lu, I didn't get to learn his movesets at all. And it just seemed really difficult, so I don't know. <laughs> it will be almost like doing it for the first time. But you're tarnished and have the great rune. Mm. The birthing, but the others don't, and it's not really good condition they are in. So far behind because Twitch for some reason had been lagging for the lagging the stream. Hmm. Yeah, Twitch can be annoying that way. Oh, so she turns him into one of the the kids. No. Oh. Did he get the prattling pat fa uh, pate fast enough and lost him? Yeah. I didn't do his quest at all in my first playthrough. He will have a different form if he goes to Renala and then you think he just dies next time you visit. Oh, okay. Well, that's sad. I'm not gonna keep doing this though. Um, I don't think. I don't really feel like I have the energy for this. Uh, I'm just gonna try. And we'll see how it goes. Because I feel like this is gonna take a while and I'm not really... I'm not really feeling a whole Malekith situation again. <laughs> Long and hard didst thou fight, tarnished warrior, spurned by the grace of gold. Be assured the Elden Ring resteth close at hand. To be granted audience once more. I just feel so bad for the lion. I hate the cutscene uh, when you face him so much. Upon my name as Godfrey. The first Elden Lord. What? But I rolled! It's been so long since I did this. Dude, why can't you just fucking roll? I'm doing it. I swear, I'm actually pressing the button and it's not happening. It's like what I said last time where I have to like press the button so hard.
It said he's our ancestor, so he basically like your great great grandfather. Hmm. Can you just ask Sarah to go for a coffee or something while he goes talks? Will be <laughs> yes, exactly. Thou didst me good service. This this is the only time we're watching this cutscene. The only time. I just don't... I don't understand. Why you have to do that? I've given thee courtesy enough. Yeah, not the kitty. But yeah, this this is the face that really fucks me up because I I never got the chance to actually learn it properly. Now I fight just horror loo. Rolled, uh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, I'm already dead. I, I hate this face so much. <laughs> it's also so weird. Like, I know people love this fight. A lot of people say that this is their favorite fight. I just... I just... Don't agree. <laughs> This fight the first time getting second phase was kind of super cool. I... I just think it's kind of weird because it's like, why are we wrestling now? This, this is not... This doesn't really fit the game, <laughs> you know? <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't fit the game. It just feels so out of place. Uh, you know? It's like, are we playing Tekken now? But the grab attacks throw you off so much. Yeah, I also hate grab attacks in any game. You still don't enjoy Horror Lou. Like the God forbid, Horror Lou needs to chill the fuck out. Mm. That's because he's built different. C clearly, you see what he did to his poor lion. It makes sense for him though. Yeah, but it doesn't make sense for the game. <laughs> it's like. Might as well put in, put in, oh wait, wait, wait! I didn't know that! Should we do that? <laughs> Should we do that? <laughs> um, out of place, because it seems, well I just said, I really, like, it's like, it's something you would expect out of a, a fighting game. Because it's like, it's like, you're suddenly throwing in like a wrestling type of fight in Elden Ring, which is... Wrestling isn't usually that common in fantasy. Unless we're talking Tekken, but that is like a little bit... That's part of what the game is, though. Mm. There's a shield with lore uh, on it about Sarash, I believe. Mm. Nephili! Nephili, yeah. Everyone is based off of some sort of magic. Godfrey is built strictly off of strength. Strength. <laughs> because the fight is with. Uh, he fights with his fist and with those. Well, yeah, it's just. He fights like a wrestler, not just not just because it's with his fists, but I think it's just the whole theme of his fight, you know? The 99 strength build. Should we try? 
I mean, I, I, I have, I didn't even know that you could summon her for this. I just don't want her to die in the first phase. I haven't tried. I guess this playthrough is where I summon NPCs because I haven't really done that. I didn't really do that in my first one. My... Oh, he didn't do that in... She's using the Stormhawk. Ow, fuck. No, don't kill her in this face. Dude, I rolled again! What the fuck is going on? Sometimes I wish you could summon for the second phase only because I like I I didn't really want to have her in this one. No, it's not because of the fist thing only, Orion. It's just the whole package. See, it's like I always get the Yeah. Wait, I'm not dead? Wait, are you kidding me? She's not in this face? Well, that's- what's the point then? Oh, no, she's there. It just took a while for her to show up. See, this is this is just wild. And she's going to die now. No, fuck off. I know I shouldn't roll away from him. Well, it was an attempt, at least. <laughs> uh, you spent like 80% of his face running away. Yeah, I, I, I do not enjoy it. This is, it's too anxiety inducing for me because he's too aggressive. Um. Your neighbors are causing an earthquake right now? Has been recently added because it didn't happen in yours either? Wait, what do you mean? Your boyfriend and you go through uh, and try and figure out each character's build. Fun times. Hmm. That seems pretty fun. Saved by the pixel, yeah. <laughs> that was close, though. Um... I'm kind of sure that it had been an option for a while, or before. You just have to do your quest first. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that this is something... Well, I mean, I feel like... Maybe I have heard of 
this before, but... I, I don't feel like this is something recently added, though. But I also don't know, because I've never done it. I didn't do uh, her quest in my first playthrough, because... I somehow forgot to talk to her before Godfrey. Well... Not Godfrey, but Godric. I forgot to talk to her there, so I didn't get to do her quest line. And she also said something that she could aid you as well. Hmm. That shouldn't matter. Hmm. Yeah, because I couldn't have her in the fight with me against Godric because I didn't talk to her b before then. I only found her after, I think. Oh, fuck, I was way too far away. <laughs> to fight you and you can leave her alone now. There we go. There we go. <laughs> the brain won't make you read Srebiril has skimmed <laughs> You never saw it in any of your playthroughs. You know, you can summon Shabiri, but not in a felly. Learn something new every day. Wait, you can summon Thou Shabriri here? Me good service. Is that an option? Is that only sure. if you, you've done the Frenzied Flame? No. I never got that option. And I did the Frenzied Flame in my first playthrough. I, I said we weren't doing this again, but I just tried catching up with chat. Also, don't like how he switches. Aggro during this fight. Yes. <laughs> That's so good to get over with. terrible boss fight. I know people will hate that I said that. It's just for me, it is. I do not enjoy this boss fight. <laughs> First try? Close enough. Honestly, close enough. I thought that I would just give this a couple of tries today and then I would just end because I assumed that I would do terribly. But I also didn't know that I could summon Nefeli though. So that hel that helped. Discovered recently, you don't have to have Kenneth alive to finish Nefeli's questline. It'll wait. <gasps> Chris, what are you doing? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh no! I see what you did. Yeah. Thank you for that, Chris. Yeah, that means that we're gonna spin the wheel. Also, I forgot to... I forgot to have the... the words here. So you can see that that is what it's supposed to be for. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, this playthrough has been a weapon wheel spin run where for each fifth sub, 
or 1500 bits, uh, I spin the wheel and whatever weapon the wheel lands on, I'm going to use for at least 20 minutes. I have 20 as the minimum because in case it's a terrible weapon that I absolutely hate. Um, but if I do like it, I, I stick with it for a little while longer. Um, and so far we have had two... Is it, has it been 21 weapons? This will be 22nd, if so. A weapon, ve weapon wheel, wheel, wheel spin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but thank you so much, Chris. Thank you for gifting a sub. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Hold on. Let me just catch up. Um, I think you might have done the Albinoric village stuff after she wasn't there anymore because didn't you also miss Latena as well? No, I didn't miss Latena. I found Latena. We talked about the, the wolf, you know, and how he was just sleeping, you know, so I didn't miss her. I just missed her quest line because I didn't get to do the, um, I didn't take her to the, um, well, the end of her quest. <laughs> you can lock out of Nefeli's quest if you burn the Earth Tree before. Yeah, I think maybe that's what happened to me. Uh... But Latena, I did the first part, though. Uh, Skippity is also an option here as well. <laughs> um, yeah, you don't have to have Kenneth alive to finish Nefeli's quest line. You'll be Nefeli stood in Stormvale by herself. Yeah, we actually talked about that earlier because I hadn't really finished her quest line, and I had gone there several times and talked to Kenneth, and nothing happened. And then I went there to see, and no one was there. And apparently, I just needed to rest until morning, and then they will be there. Would be there. So, I guess it was something very specific you needed to do there. <laughs> um, you're allowed to not like boss fights. Yeah, it's just I feel kind of weird when I seem to be the only. Well, I mean, Chris is now also uh, the only other one <laughs> who seemed to not like this fight. Because I feel like most people do. I haven't heard a single person who don't like it. You hope it's a shield. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. We're getting an ad though. So I just I just wanna wait until after the ad is over. You know, I'm just gonna run it now because it happens in like a minute. So we'll see. We'll see what it it be. Finding it you would kinda agree, but thematically and lore wise not. Wait, which one are you talking about? Twenty third, ah, twenty third this time. Okay, okay. She doesn't show up sometimes, and you have to go kick Kenneth in the butt to move things along. <laughs> uh, wait to see what the wheel bless blessants is blessants you with. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see. You love this boss fight. You did a fisty cup style once. Hmm. Well, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> you kill him in every playthrough for a free golden seed and was still able to see her in Stor Stormvale. Not sure what the trigger to get her to move was, though. Yeah, we figured out what the problem was for me, though. Uh, if one trigger is to move Gostock, uh, move if... Is a yeah, because we also were talking about that because I killed Gostock because I can't stand him. Uh, and then Ghost thought that that would lock me out of uh, Nefeli's quest, and I was like, but that makes no sense. Because Gostok is no one. Like, he, why would his death matter in her quest line? Like, what does he do to progress the storyline? Nothing. <laughs> so, but we figured it out, though, because Ryan looked it up. I uh, just needed to rest until morning. Yeah. Uh. Just needed to rest until morning and then it was fine. Maybe they would see his body and get so upset they would leave. <laughs> wow. Uh, Nefeli wouldn't be much of a warrior then, would she? Let's see. Mm -mm. I 
can rest and uh, maybe upgrade. Well, actually, we're going to see what the weapon is that we get before I level up. Hmm. I think. But. Let us open up the wheel spin. That means that we have had two... Well, this will be the third new weapon that we try today, then. The first one was from last stream, though. Um, but yeah, this was the last one we got. Five hours, <laughs> eight minutes and 38 seconds. So close. <laughs> yeah. Um... He's like the first ever boss to fight like this in any from games besides Sekiro with that giant gorilla monkey. Monkey, yeah, but that yeah, but in that case it makes sense because it actually moves like a, a gorilla, you know? It moves like a monkey, and I also hate that fight too. I hate it too. <laughs> I was so relieved when I beat it. Wait, was it Rods who missed the 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 duo one? Did he miss that one? I was so, so annoyed when I knew that you could... When you could skip the second one. Uh, because that was even worse. <laughs> but at least you get an achievement for it though, so you know, I'm glad that I did it. There's a pattern here? Yeah, I don't like monkeys. I don't like monkey men. <laughs> You think you skipped it? Yeah. Yeah, I literally did not know until I saw that he missed out on it. Um, <laughs> but I'm... S yeah, I, from now on, I think I'm going to skip out on it. Um, I really want to play Sekiro again. I, I think... And don't hate me for this, Chris. I know you probably have heard me say this before anyway, but... I think I actually like Sekiro slightly more than Elden Ring as well. Just as for Staff of the Avatar, yeah, I'm 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 sorry, Ryan. Oh, we could give it another try though. Um when we get to uh Mogwin's palace or something. Where less is at stake. Sekiro spo but I thought this was the only the, the one spoiler you had gotten gotten Orion. Kill the gatekeeper this time to see if you could move her along and could complete her quests. Maybe you just need one of them alive. Yeah, I I kill Gostock, uh, but I also left uh, Kenneth alive though, so I don't know if I don't know if you can kill both Gostock and and Kenneth and her quest line is still a, a, a available. I don't know. You didn't know? Wait, what didn't what didn't you know? Monkey men? Yeah, monkey men. Don't need either of them alive. You also kill Gostock in every playthrough. <laughs> good, good, Chris. I'm glad I, I'm not the only one that decided to do that. People were saying you don't need either alive to have an Nefeli to move to the... Oh, okay. I see, I see, I see. I missed that then. Uh, from where you were reading, people have issues getting Nefeli to move from... Hmm. You're fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> No, I have said that Elden Ring is part of my favorite games. I still have said that. You know about the monkey? Yeah, I knew, I knew you knew. Funny enough, mostly you have avoided most Sekiro spoilers, having also missed my run mostly. Mm. Oh, round table hold. I see, I see. Yeah, you know I'm also terrible at abbreviations. But yeah, let's spin the wheel, guys. Let's spin the wheel. Let's see what it, it shows. Let's see what we get. No, we have gotten this one before. This is the first dupe, though. We can't have this again. I have said that if it lands on one that we've gotten before, we're gonna roll again. 
Yeah, this is the first one. This is the first one. This is the weapon that I started my second playthrough for because I loved this so much. I love the wing scythe. It is the coolest weapon in the game, in my opinion. Like the 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 weapon art for this this weapon is so cool. It's fate. Well, it is it is faith. It is faith as well. It is it is a faith and fate. Uh, let's see if I have enough, though. Um, I feel like it would be... I don't think I have enough ar- well, do I have enough arcane for it? Maybe. Or faith. I don't know if I have enough of either of them, but I think I do. Uh, there it is. There it is. Yeah, I have enough. Uh, see, wait, no, hold on. Let's see, just look at this weapon art, just look at it. It's so cool. And I found it so early in my first playthrough and I was like, damn, I wanna, I wanna start a new playthrough just for this weapon. <laughs> And I did, but Faith is rough, though. I, f I thought it was really rough. I did not feel safe uh, at all. Or comfortable. Oh. Yeah, too. Oh. 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 What? <laughs> oh, Blues, thank you for the 100 bits. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> Too bad Radicon and Elden Beast are strong against Holy. That is true. <clears throat> that is true. But hey. We'll see though. Like, I wasn't really planning on doing this today. Which means that... Well... I guess I can do the, the 20 minutes for this weapon though. Offended or busted? Yeah, I mean, that, that was... <laughs> I was I was also kind of confused. What is this? What is this sound alert for? I'm not entirely. Wait, shit! I forgot to level up. I don't want to go in there before I level up. Um. Hold on. Let me also see. <sighs> yeah, holy is not good against them. That is true. That is very true. Busting. <laughs> uh, yeah, what should we level up though? I mean, I do kind of need mind as well. No, I mean, I do, but I also. I was an episode of The Amazing World of Gumball. Is Gumball the, 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 the car thing? Should I have one more in faith? No, no point. first try yeah with a weapon that they're not weak against at all uh oh <laughs> uh, yeah yeah well we'll see we'll see i don't think this is gonna go too well i still have enough to like well no it's fine the little blue cat what? I I never heard of that. Then I don't I don't know what it is. Then how to unread a sentence? <laughs> you mean clapping the jelly man's cheeks? Is that what you mean? N nerd fern. Oh, no, fine. Oh. 
<laughs> I was like, what are you saying? Hey, no, fine. I didn't see you there. <laughs> Please. <sighs> hmm. And his hair turns red and turns into a he. Hmm. I also forget. I. Uh, I do know the moveset of this slightly better, but... And he moves so fast. Like, how can he move so far? Wait, how am I the how? Oh yeah, I didn't level up the weapon. <laughs> ah, that makes sense. Why well, did so little damage? I was like, oh, why am I why am I doing so little damage? <laughs> I didn't level it up. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I think I think it's important to level up the weapon for this if I'm gonna use this. Uh no no Orion Oh shit, okay. I figured, you know, I'm gonna level up first, but Ah, it's fine, it's fine. I mean you did start the timer after I had started using the weapon, so Um It was just a test run? Yeah, yeah. That chip damage. <laughs> uh, but how you doing though? Not fine. Wait, you getting ready for bed? Work tomorrow? But you got you now got an ETA on you moving. On you moving, so you're just relaxing for a bit. Wait, moving? Yeah, you butt spotted yourself. That's true. You moving again? The Elden Beast music is so beautiful. It's just a shame they use it on the Elden Beast. Wait. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is kind of strange for a boss fight music, but I feel like it fits really well, though. Because it's so ethereal. Okay, kids. Sometimes when you're an adult, you have to lie. All of the time about absolutely everything. <laughs> Wait, did I lie? No. Yeah. But thank you for the 100 bits, though. But yeah, I have not seen that show at all, because I didn't have... I guess it started after I had a uh, Cartoon Network uh, available to me. So I guess it makes sense that I never, never saw it. Mm. <laughs> you would delete if it wasn't a mod. <laughs> Relaxing for a butt? Yeah, yeah. No need to tag you in that business? Wait, what business? What business were you tagged in? This is such a good boss fight though. Yeah, I... Honestly, uh, Radagon was probably one of my favorite boss fights. Uh, in my first playthrough. One of them. It's amazing even though it can be a struggle. Mm. Elven Beast is a bastard, though. Yeah, but at least you can use Torrent now, from what I've heard. 
You've had the urge to fight this so long after you beat Elden Ring first time, but have not gotten to it. And now you're st <laughs> stuck in the DLC. Oh. oh no. Oh no! Moving from an apartment to a house. Oh yeah, yeah, you bought a house! Didn't you? Oh fuck yeah, I'm out of runes. Dude, I should have done this before because I had so many runes. Let me just see. At least ten of those, we'll see. Um Lyser Cave, they're TOS friendly. <laughs> this is one of your favorite scenes. You won't have no points by the end of this at the rate you're going. What do you mean? Wait, you're using bits though. Aren't you? <laughs> oh, Neo. <laughs> you highly recommend the cartoon. It has some pretty meta humor and it's pretty emotional at times, too. Mm. Yeah, fuck it. We'll, we'll... Wait, I couldn't level it up anymore? Is it... Wait! I thought it used a uh, regular uh, smithing stones. But it stopped at 10. Interesting. But I do appreciate it though, Blues. Well, at least this should help. It's somber ones. Mm. Well, we have it fully leveled up then, so maybe we'll do some damage. Just just a little bit, you know? Well, just a teeny tiny bit. Flashbang! I don't think I have the flashbang em emotes. Dude, I'm just trying to get my runes. I, the, I, I don't understand how his reach is like that. It's like, that is pretty wild. You don't have that long. Like, your legs are not that long. Yeah, this is this is not the weapon for this. Like, this is a cool weapon and all, but I feel very nog confident in using it. Uh, you also really like not skipping this cutscene, but you truly wish the screen didn't go fully white like that. Hmm. It's just, if you have to do it over and over again, I don't feel like watching the cutscene every single time. You just like the ramping up of the music and the whole thing. Mm. But this is the last one for today. Mm. What about the regular attack? Do they also... With the scaling? Wait, what do you mean with the scaling? I'm not sure what you mean. Well, that does even less damage, which is understandable. Yeah. 
I, I hate delayed attacks as well, as you guys know. Ah, fuck, I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot about that. Like, the skill scales with faith, faith, but do the regular attacks do that as well, so they do less damage? Well, it seems so. I, I can't say for sure, but it, it seemed like it did a lot less damage, though. Let me try with a heavy attack, though. Because the weapon art shouldn't be just, uh, like, it shouldn't just be the weapon art that does faith or holy damage, I mean. I even missed. Wonderful. I just want to see. Like, I'm not expecting to. Yeah, that did very little damage. Well, to be fair, they both do. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna I'm yeah, I this is not a comfortable weapon for me to use in this fight. <laughs> ah, blues, thank you for the hundred bits. It do, it do be sheeshing. I thought you said that was the last one though, the previous one. Orion what? Wolfia cheered. X one hundred and fifty six. Ryan, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, thank you for the hundred and fifty six bits, though, Ryan. <laughs> oh, guys, you guys, you started the hype train. Why? <laughs> it took you so long to beat Radagon, and then it was like the whole other fight after that. I really got the Radagon fight down after a while, like, I, I ended up doing really well in it on my first playthrough, and then I got stuck on Elden Beast for so long. The weapon scaling in Elden Ring is confusing, even weapons with the same level of scaling scale at, at different rates. Yeah. <sighs> I, I never understood the the builds in this game in the sense of like how how to make proper builds. It seems way too confusing to me. Couldn't say it at first, but you were like, alright, Gideon chill. <laughs> uh, some say they have multiple scalings, but then they only mean like the weapon arts or heavy attacks. Hmm. Yeah, I wish they had it, uh, like, that it was a little bit easier, or simpler. Let me just try using regu re regular attacks. Yeah, I- if you- if you miss the first one there, it's so difficult to... ...do the second one. The hype train has pulled into the station. All aboard. Choo choo. <laughs> Black cats. <laughs> uh, thank you for the hundred bits. You guys are too kind. What are you? What are you doing? Dude, I'm trying to not die. Okay. 
the cool thing about this fight is the whole, like, the color combination. You know, the dark, really dark gray and the gold. And then a little bit of red in between. I really like it. I like it. Um... Well, I guess we, we need to do this again as well. Um, it's a whole loadout of information. No idea who figures it all out. <sighs> yeah, it makes, it makes no sense to me. But then again, like, this is why with most games, I feel like this is an issue with a lot of you games, though. You are fucking amazing. You are an ethereal being upon this earth. You're just such an amazing, genuine person. It's true. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Black cats. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Black cats. You're very sweet. Thank you. It's true? No, you. No, you. You try to read about people, explain it, but you still can't quite understand it or apply the knowledge. Hmm. But yeah, we're just gonna do until like the. Yeah, I'm. <laughs> Yeah, see that I that I had no chance there. I was just taken aback. <laughs> uh, Blues and Orion, thank you so much. <laughs> no, 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 it's all good. I, I was gonna fail anyway. It's it's all it's all fine. <laughs> Why they overlapped? Because they're two different. <laughs> Excuse me, Orion? Excuse me? What are you doing? What? What? Thank you for the 1500 bits. What is that? Orion? You didn't have to do that. That's ATs, by the way, in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> Thank you so much. All of you guys, all of you, every single one of you, 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 you have been so, so kind and, and generous. I appreciate you all. I really, really do. You're the best. You're the bestest of the best. But yeah, I think they overlap because they're two different, um... Uh, sources. So it's like one is from Blurp and the other one is is through my my actual alert stuff. So it's like two different ones, so they will overlap. Uh... Oh! Oh! <laughs> Don't stop now. <laughs> yeah, we're not we're not gonna stop now. We're not. <laughs> but use your spare bits because of the hype train. But you didn't have to do that. Oh. Thank you though. <laughs> Thank you for the five minutes. <laughs> Golly, you're the best. I'm going to follow you and watch you and worship the ground you walk on. Let's go. <laughs> Blues. <laughs> uh, God damn it. Well, thank you for the thank you for that. W was that from something or because I I I have no idea what that was from. Um you had to. <laughs> no, you didn't have to. Uh, thank you so much, though. Thank you. That's also where. One more time. I liked how your emotes worked with that alert so much, Black Cats. The little dancing was just in, in uh, like, synced very well with the, uh, with the song. <laughs> Uh, oh, thank you, Black Cats. Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Oh, okay. Yeah, I never, I never played that myself. I only saw 
bits and parts of it my uh, like when other people played it um <laughs> that's funny though that also there is a, a clip about that person wait which person There's a clip where if you reject the adoring fan, they get disappointed and they are in a cliff and they just run off the cliff. Oh no! Oh no. Something you have not played Oblivion yourself, but seen so many funny clips. Hmm. I see, I see. Yeah, I never played it. I, I never played it. <sighs> you got me! Now ladies, remember, grapefruit is also a fat burner, so you're actually losing weight while you're sucking his dick. No, Pum, what are you doing? What? <laughs> what? Pom? Pom is just coming out of nowhere <laughs> with that. Pom just coming out of lurk with the out-of-pocket stuff. <laughs> How you doing though, Pom? Thank you so much, Palm. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> uh. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it. <laughs> well, now we might as well watch the cutscene again. <laughs> you guys are too, too sweet. Well, I mean, the last one wasn't exactly sweet, but I appreciate the, the thought. Well, I don't know what thought was behind it, but sure. You hung out with some cats, got some more D&D Lego, nice. Lego, let's go. Thank you guys so much for the hype train. Thank you so much. You are the best. I know that I, I probably won't be able to do this until I get my katanas back. <laughs> uh, but is it okay, Orion, if we save the 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 next wheel spin for next stream? Because I just want to like once I'm done with this weapon, I think uh, the best thing. Is Palm, Palm is thinking this is this is skibbity. This this is truly utterly s skibbity. <laughs> uh, thank you though, Palm. Thank you so much. All the bussy ones were boring. <laughs> uh, Radagon right now. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You can do it. I think the the thing is, I want to try with the katanas after this and see how well it goes. Um, obviously, I don't feel like it's gonna go too well because I still haven't. I don't remember the the move set enough to dodge it properly anyway. So, but I just want to see, and then we can do the wheel spin next time and do it in a similar way uh, that we did this time or last time, I guess. Skibidi is still in the mountaintops shouting about chaos. <laughs> Are we not Skibidi Bop? We 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 yee yee. I don't I don't know. Are we? May chaos take the riz. <laughs> Chris. 
Uh, may tea, it may, may chaos take the riz. understand how we can have such a long range. Makes no sense. He's not he's not that big. trying to get away to heal. Why do I always try to heal there? <laughs> I heal at the stupidest times. Uh. I feel like I also would be a lot more careful if I actually used a weapon that I feel like I could have a chance with. Which I don't feel like I do with this one. See, how the fuck does he move close enough to do that? When he's moving so slowly, it's like he's teleporting right into my face. Have a good night, Shane. Have a good night. Hope you sleep well. And have a good rest of your weekend as well. He's got that Sigma Riz, the golden Rizizzle. <laughs> He's about to tax all your fan. Wait, what are you talking about, Palm? Um, you saw a clip where someone, you think, sibling kids were trying to come up with a gender neutral term for like aunt and uncle, and apparently they couldn't figure out a word, so they used. Skibbity, skibbity for aunt and on, uh, aunt and uncle. I think they use like auntcle, but someone in the comments said they like ankle. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I mean, parent sibling that works too. Yeah. Radagoon of the Gold Edge Gold Edge Order, yeah. We're gonna do this a couple of more tries and then we're gonna switch to to the katana. You will get your future niece few to call you ankle. <laughs> Every time I try to heal... Dude! Oh no, I can't May chaos hear. take the Riz and Glowskibidi Rizzler. Why do I not dodge the second one? Oh, 
Oh, nice. No, fuck. I, do I need to be in front of him to do that? It used to work on both. Ow, oh, fuck. I forgot that it had an after... Uh... <laughs> I was gonna... <laughs> Uh, I was gonna say, like, afterbirth. <laughs> That's kind of weird. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I don't know what's wrong with the TTS. I, I keep changing it all the time, but it still only comes through my speakers, so I can't hear it. And then you can hear it through the mic as well, because of the speakers. <laughs> For some reason that made you think of peace be with you that people do at church. So next time there's an event holiday holiday where you have to go to church, you're gonna shake people's hands and say make chaos take the risk instead of <laughs> see how fast they perform an exorcist. <laughs> do it. I dare you. No. You may instantly set ablaze. You can't can't guarantee anything though. It's worth a shot, no. <laughs> but thank you, Palm. <laughs> uh, I d I was trying to think of a word that had like after attached to it. Two star. Hey, she came to say hi. Okay, this is gonna be this, the last attempt with this weapon, and then I'm gonna go to the katanas again. Wait, it gave me iframes when I did that attack. But I don't think it was supposed to. Ow. Ow. Am I care? No, no, I have said that before. I'm not doing the wheel spin in the DLC because I want to see how, like, when it's something I'm doing for the first time, I don't want to, um, I want to experience things. Psycho Skag. What? I'm like the Jonkler. Sometimes I dip my fries in ice cream. Uo cannot control M.E. Welcome to my twisted mind. going on there <laughs> yeah so I would I want to see how well I can do things uh, in, like I want to see the progression myself in how I do things and it will it will only be ruined if I do like if I use the weapon wheel spin for that because like, this is something that I've done before so it's not like it's not the same Chonkler. <laughs> Chonkler. Uh, what, what is the Jonkler? Do I want to know? Probably not. Probably not. Hey. Ow. 
Aua! Yeah. Oh, let me give it another try. I'm so confused by what you guys are talking about right now. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it takes me such a long time to learn the moveset when it's delayed because it doesn't have a natural rhythm to it for me. Which makes it... It doesn't have a nice flow to it, you know? I dodge that. Well, I'm not doing a whole lot of damage with this weapon either. <laughs> but still better, though. Okay, I'm gonna give it uh, two more tries. Two more tries, and then we can end for today. We're gonna end for today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your stepdad? No. No. You looking for the sound you thought you saw? Oh, I see, I see, I see. Hey, Tuesday. Yeah, she's still just sitting here. Chilling. Has, um... Has your cat been, been going up on your desks and stuff, Chris? So far? never get the second one right if i get the wrong the first one wrong i'm going to get the second one as well wrong Thought about the second, the, the well, the fourth one, I guess. Well, that's just rude. I'm trying to peer over him whilst fighting a monster, as he's headbutting you in the face. Wait, did that- well, did it- did it happen? Or did you say- just imagine that happening? <laughs> Was reminding you of the pain and suffering ring- no! It's all gone pear-shaped? Is that a good or a bad thing? <laughs> Rude. 
rough as a builder's estimate. That's a good one. Wait, I'm what? No, god damn it. That's not what I meant to do. I pressed the both X and Y at the same time. He was doing he was precious. Oh, that's amazing. I love that. Yeah, having cats on your desk is really, really nice. What? Why? Why would you say that, Palm? What? But but still, like, why would you say that? <laughs> that that that's just weird. Okay, this is the last attempt, and then we're gonna we're gonna end. Nice. No, 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 don't go away. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Why is he staggered so, like, for such a short time? So tired of that shit. <laughs> yeah, that was the last attempt for today. I've been live six hours though. Not bad. It hasn't been bad. And I didn't think that we would get to the last boss today. So I would say that that's good, good uh, progress overall. Hmm. Peeing over and peeing on can mean the same thing in English. <laughs> I came back to see what what Palm said. Mm. Lauren was sitting and you were standing, so you had two levels to traverse. He was having fun. Oh, I'm so glad that you guys were so happy with your, your little Kato. Yeah, those teleport attacks sucks, but it's it's also like when they come out of nowhere because then it usually happens when I'm already in an animation, so I can't dodge, even though I know I'm supposed to dodge as soon as he teleports away. But it's like I'm already doing a move, so I can't dodge <laughs> because it happens so fast. Um... You missed it, you were trying to focus on it, but wait, what were you trying to focus on? What do you mean? Only eight, 18 hours left? Wait, 18 hours left of what? What do you mean? Ask me to stream until 666. Hmm. Somehow an entire five minutes went by? Oh, you missed- Oh yeah, you missed the timer. I see, I see, I see. Hmm. I've just learned to ignore Palm's messages when I don't know, know what he's saying anyway. <laughs> I don't understand what you're saying anyway. <laughs> oh, the sleeping can laugh. Uh, 24 hour stream. Oh, I see. Yeah. See, see what I mean? I'm just slow today. Everything is. My brain is not working. Isn't my, my picture amazing? 266. I'm level 204. But we made good progress today, though.
I had no idea what we would get here. We finished all of Fia's quest line. We did um uh uh well pretty much all of the capital that's left and we have we could still go to the Haley tree uh it's just that seems very painful <laughs> i know that people are gonna make me use a weapon that uh like the wheel spin as soon as i get to melania i i just know it i know it and palm on the good stuff today i think it's a little bit of both <laughs> I should play until your levels match uh, your hours played. We would be here forever then. We would never leave, any of us. Hold on, let me... I'm trying to switch the scene. How are you? <laughs> it's so funny what, she, what has happened with her fur. Hold on. Um, what is... What music are we on? Oh, there we go. Like, she's just grown these... This, like, super... Light, but also uh, thin fur on her sides here, and it's so weird because is she. I I don't think that's ever happened to her before. Don't not been done melanoma yet. No, but that's that's a bad thing. We don't do melan. <laughs> we have not. We have not. I figured, you know, there's still time to do that after beating the game as, like, an alternative thing, but I haven't really thought about it too much, if I'm being honest. Popping out to watch the Gooners in a week. <laughs> uh, and the whole consecrated snow area, yeah. I don't like the area before, um... Like, the whole consecrated snow area, I don't like. But I do love the Haley tree. As soon as you get to that point, I... Well, I mean, it is painful in its own way, but it's... it's The, the way it looks makes up for it, you know? <laughs> that was for Craig. <laughs> uh... Oh, oh, the... Yeah, I see. But yeah, you, you cat sitting, Palm. Is it the same cats as you usually uh, look after? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, <laughs> hello again. Hello again, Marty. Park Bark has. Wait, isn't that a, isn't that a monster in 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 The Witcher? Where have I heard of that? That is a word I've heard before. A being that I've heard of before. That's fair, mother will wait. Hey, we can do it at any point. We can do it at any point. I guess it's like when you first get to the Ashen Capital, it's kind of hard to stop. It's kind of hard to stop and do other things. Um, like, I had to force myself to go to... Uh, uh, to fight the gargoyles because like yeah well I mean I kind of said that I'm I was gonna do this um but you f once you get to the the ashen capital you you feel like you just have to progress there and just keep going mm, have a good night see you all next time thank you so much for being here blues I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend and also thank you so much for for hanging out for so long and and I know you you're very busy and and you usually sleep around this time don't you so I really appreciate you you sticking around and, and hanging out for a while and also being so generous I appreciate it a lot busy touching a tree <laughs> wait who also, the portal to Moog in Latina's quest. Yeah, yeah, but Moog, I have said that I'm gonna do Moog after I've beaten the game. For sure. I'm gonna do that as soon as I get to the- well, I'm planning on going to the DLC. So, that- that has been the plan, since I asked Chris about... If it mattered in- well, I mean, I know, as I said, I know you can do it in- 
e like either way that you can go to the DLC and beat the game after the DLC or before but as soon as that was as we talked about that I and yes I did miss the message you said when you said it in chat Chris but I had to I had to look through the the chat log to see because Orion said that you re replied to me and I didn't see it <laughs> I missed a bunch of chat last time but Latena's quest is in... It is in, in the consecrated snow area though, isn't it? <laughs> if you know, you know. Um, is it the end? Yes. It is the end. It is the end. But you're home now? What the fuck now? It's on the other way? Wait, what is on the other way? Oh, oh, that one. <laughs> it's a UK myth. Monster dog. Yeah, yeah, so I have seen them in, in The Witcher then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have them in The Witcher. Um, Aren't they like... Wait, aren't they the ones that the um, the wild hunt have with them? Or are they just other ghost dogs? I kind of forgot. I just know that I've seen them in The Witcher. <laughs> in in the game, The Witcher 3. At first you were like 10 seconds late to so your refresh and now you're more than 2 seconds early. Oh damn. You been here, but not re uh, not here today. Hope you're all good. No, also, don't don't apologize for that, Marty. Don't you don't have to apologize for that. You had to work for a special work request on a Saturday. Well, I hope you get some good rest now, though. It's the regular catos, but they're four minute walk away, so you can just sleep at home. Yeah, that's good. That is good. You do not remember typing the tree touching message. Maybe you're tired too. No, no, no. That's <laughs> that's not what I meant. I meant um, <laughs> I meant when I asked about whether I it would matter, like lore wise. I know you can do it either way, but if I should beat the game, like if that was better to beat the game before going to the DLC or save the ending of the main game and beat the game after I've done the DLC. And you said that it didn't really matter. Uh, is this the first from soft that doesn't restart after the last boss? I don't know. Bloodborne and Dark Souls 1 go straight to Engi- 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 NG plus at least. Um Also Dark Souls 2 also has it, I see, I see. Might not be the case for OD Dark Souls 2, but Scholar of the First Sin doesn't go straight to into NG NG again. Again NG <laughs> Ghoul says blood and wine. Wild Hunt has them as scouts. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. That is what I thought. You wouldn't know you avoid my Witcher streams? Yeah, because Palm, he hates, uh, he hates the Witcher. Especially, uh, especially Gwent. Palm is not a fan of Gwent. <laughs> to be fair, though, I haven't played the Witcher 3 since 2021. Was it 2022? No, it was 2021. You didn't want to even burn the Earth Tree before going for the DLC. Wait, what do you mean? Also, if you miss stuff, you could still get stuff. Hmm, because you can't go to main game before beating the DLC. En en engi 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 plus engi plus 
<laughs> Sounds like some cheap energy drink brand. I mean, maybe it is. What happens at NK Plus? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have to stop meeting at this, uh, like, uh, meeting like this. But Gwen is so fun. It is! It is fun. You don't hate, you just nap to it. <laughs> but you said you avoid. So that means that you try not to see it. Hey, Toonie! How you doing? Speaking of fantasy uh, properties, you got two more Lego Mind Flayers, Strahd and Tasha and Witch Queen today. Ooh! Nice, nice. What is Gwent? What? What is- what is- what is that quote? Why is it just referencing the previous quote without anything else added to it? <laughs> oh, I see, I see. Someone tried to- to explain that it wasn't weird, I guess. Big one is better, same amount of work, but it's better. Yeah, yeah. It's because Big One is a brand of pizza here. It's a- it's a- it's a pizza brand. Frozen pizza brand. Uh, <laughs> Wish there was more to Gwent in Witcher and because most are either too easy or too hard. Yeah. Oh shit, we having an ad. I forgot to snooze. I didn't have my, my stream open. Or like my, my stream manager open. I didn't know we had an ad. Otherwise, I would have snoozed it. Um... But yeah, I'm- now I've reached a point where I- I feel like I don't really want to play any Gwent. If I go back to The Witcher, because it's like, now I don't really- I've done everything Gwent related. All the- all the achievements and all the- all the quests that are related to it. So now it's just not that enjoyable to me anymore because I've just done all I needed to. So if I'm, I were to play a, a different playthrough, I would not bother with it. Because 200 is not about butts, it's about pizza. Mm, oh yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. We needed to clarify because most of them are about butts, I guess. Snooze? Snooze? Gwent any percent. Okay, fine. Well, I mean, this one is its so far away because I haven't adjusted it to... Well, I mean, I have to have the camera a little bit higher up now because of my monitor. Otherwise, you will see the... You will see the... Um, the frame of my monitor if I don't have it this high up. And then it's too high up for me. Wait, maybe I can just raise my chair. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, it's not supposed to be five minutes, is it? I thought it was two. I can lower that. No, I can't because it's at the lowest it can be. I, I can't have my desk any lower. <laughs> Missing valuable brow time? I think you're, you're okay. Palm is swimming in points. Uh, but yeah, actually, speaking of The Witcher, uh, there is... I don't know for any of you who don't play Monster Hunter World. Um, there is... They had a collab with The Witcher, so there is a quest in Monster Hunter World that is... It works kind of like The Witcher. In, like, the, the quest style of the witcher works the same way so you play as Geralt but you've been you've been teleported to uh, 
Astera, as in like the the hub area of of the Witcher. No, uh, of uh, Monster Hunter. And yes, yeah, so you have like a quest there, a monster from his world that has uh, appeared there. I won't say what it is though. But if you know, if you remember, I can say as much as uh, it is my favorite monster in The Witcher 3. That is the boss, but it's too high leveled for me to do. So I tried doing it a two, uh, like a couple of days ago and I died. <laughs> because you can't you can't summon other people for it. You can't have uh, any co-op. It's something you have to do alone and it's too difficult for me. So I haven't done it yet. Rise up? No, 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 I'm not rising. <laughs> no, I'm not getting up. <laughs> uh, there's a 21% Zote will beat Krauss in combat. That's, you know, that's fair. You got 13k, not swimming. Wait, I thought you had so much, Palm. I actually thought you had a lot, a lot of points. I thank the gods. Wait, what do you mean? Wiggle him a bit? Like the rock? I can do that. Uh, Gerald the Witch War? Yeah. <laughs> you can wiggle your eyebrow and use it to be like many people can't and you it was like a funny thing wait yeah a lot of people don't can't do it i mean i can't do it too well but oh the chair i see <laughs> i see <laughs> i see you're like 500k my damn TTSs are so expensive. I know. It's intentional. Oh, I'm so high up now. It is intentional. I do it because... Uh, because I know Palm will use it too much if it's cheaper. <laughs> and then uh, we would have TTS every single... Uh, well, every 10 minutes, maybe. Yeah, those points are... Th that's something else. <laughs> that's something else. Um, damn, Palm even has more points than Orion? That, that, that's, that's wild. All the sweats with all your points. <laughs> uh, it would be enough for like 250 minutes of Norwegian stream. Hmm. Yeah, Orion has been saving up their points to have a full Norwegian stream. <laughs> it's counter palm strategy. It is. It is a direct attack on. <laughs> well, it's because he use he loves using points. So I and I. The thing is, I want people to think about the timing. Ah! Thank you, Ryan. I think I, I want people to 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 consider the timing that they use things, because if they have it too easily available, or then there's no thought behind it, you know. Same for full Norwegian stream, mm. but Ryan is cute. That is true. That is true. You need something to balance that? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, maybe if you hadn't been away so long, you would have more. That is true. That is true. Now, ladies, remember, grapefruit is also a fat burner, so you're actually losing weight while you're sucking this dick. I, I don't like that sound either. 
It's like, I would say thank you, Pawn, but at the same time, no thank you, Pawn. <laughs> You endorse this idea wholeheartedly. Mm. Yeah, Chris, he he wants both me and Sarah to have a redeem where we speak in very with a very strong Norwegian accent, <laughs> because <laughs> uh, as Lauren would said say, it it do, it does his tits in. <laughs> please, Paul. The thank you, Paul. Please never do it again. But he's already done it twice today. How many points for full English with Norwegian accent stream? Oh yeah, you, you already commented on that even before I... Before I said anything. Um, I don't, I don't know. It's so... It's so difficult. Because you have to be... You have to think about every single thing you say. It doesn't come out automatically at all. 64, 64! Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> Ryan! Uh. Thank you so much, Ryan. You, 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 you've done so much today. All of you have done so much today. <sighs> You're too kind. I feel like I also repeat myself so much because I, there's only so much vocabulary that I have to describe what I, what I want to say. <laughs> How does being cute affect anything we're discussing? Because that's why Palm needs to be unwholesome, because you're being being the wholesome one, so he feels like there's too much wholesomeness if he also decides to be it. So that's why he decides to, to go the other way. You're 2k away from 200k le leaf sickles? <gasps> nice, nice. How many for an all Norwegian stream with American accent? Uh, I don't know. That that could also be done, but that is also difficult to do without like thinking about every single word. You like where this is going? <laughs> uh, you one k away from your leaf goal. What is your leaf goal, Craig? What is your leaf goal? Wait, is it is it what I think it is? Is it what I think it is? You don't want that? You hate the accents from from here? <laughs> I don't think you would be able to tell that it's American though. If it's Norwegian with an American accent. Well maybe you would, I don't know. It would be like Ron's going robot trying not to say the yeah. Yeah. Okay, I already- I think I know what, what Craig is talking about. Damn, you have that many points? That's good, though. Um, yeah, so the reason why, if I'm guessing correctly, though, the reason why that one is so high is because... I don't wanna- I don't wanna favorite- like... I, will, I don't wanna do any favoritism. So I decided, you know, if people want that, they're gonna- they are gonna decide for themselves. I'm not gonna choose it for them. And... But I, w I don't want to give too much power to anyone to just decide, you know, whenever. So I want to make sure that it's someone that's been here for a while, because if you have a certain amount of points, like that high amount of points, then that would mean that you truly are that, you know? So you deserve to have it, you know? You know? It makes sense. It makes sense. So when, when people have asked me if when they have enough points, can I give it to someone else? No, that kind of defeats the purpose of the whole thing. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's not about the points. It's about, it's about what it means. So if you just give it away to someone else, then it doesn't mean anything. That was truly painful. It was. It was. I was, I, and I was just there at the end of it. We have we have Sarah to blame for that. Like you never grapefruited your ta your todger. 
Wait, <laughs> what have you been watching, Pom? What 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 show or movie have you been watching? Because I feel like that has to, <laughs> has to come from something. I mean, I know it's from the UK, but you know, more specifically. You want to hear my idea of a southern accent? Oh no. Irish or Aussie? Dude, I am terrible at accents. I can't do it. <laughs> Don't talk about your teens. <laughs> yeah, cover it with a leaf. If you have that amount of points, you're already a mod. I don't get like I don't make people mods just for being here for a long time. I f I do it because I I I believe they they will be good mods and they are you know they they contribute to you know the whole community by being themselves and and uh, you know. I should have go be <laughs> When did I say that? Uh, <laughs> I don't remember saying that. Uh, are they poke my ass up with the chopstick? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> did you miss a canon event on Ron's stream? I think maybe so, but y I mean, you might have enjoyed it. I don't know. <laughs> It was awful, it was awful. Hey Dan, how you doing? Welcome in. As a UK person hearing the grapefruit todger comment without context is <laughs> 10 out of 10 experience. <laughs> but what is the context? I don't know. <laughs> what is the con- I don't know. <laughs> Uh, what am I missing out on? And I'm saying... <laughs> uh, I guess there's no context in which that statement isn't funny. <laughs> uh, went right up her ass, didn't... Yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess so. <laughs> but welcome in though, welcome in. Also, thank you so much for the follow, by the way. We do have anonymous follows for those who just want to lurk and... and and chill in peace and not draw any attention and attention to yourself you know you know the context is a blurb heard too many times but but i thought but i didn't hear i didn't i didn't hear codger though maybe i just missed that word Additional context, you got a bloody nose up the button. <laughs> what? There's too much. There are too many butt codes. Why? It's like it's like people are just waiting for me to say something about butts and then they quote it. Cod but that's what you said, Pom! No, oh <laughs> Oh Todd oh yeah, I see, okay. <laughs> I guess I guess he was Todger. I I don't <laughs> I didn't hear that word either. <laughs> oh, it's so warm in here. Holy crap. <laughs> I meant I don't even know what it means. I don't know what it means. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't say these things. <laughs> Palm. Uh, thank you so much, Palm. I can't see it, but you guys can. <laughs> Codger is just an old man. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I did. I do know that. I meant Todger. I don't know what Todger means. I, d I know what Codger means. <laughs> the 
<laughs> proverbial elven elephant in the wait what is the I <laughs> let's <laughs> let's just move on I guess <laughs> um you don't know what any of the those words mean you actually prefer it that way but conjure just means an old man it won't spoil any meanings <laughs> okay okay <laughs> Uh, let me explain in great detail. <laughs> Hold on. I don't know. I don't know. You don't think those cute fucking eyes of Orion's? <laughs> uh, uh, but anyway, guys, we've been sitting here chatting for a while. I mean, I do enjoy that as well. Don't get me wrong, I do. We're having such a good time. And I feel bad again for not streaming yesterday, but I've been so tired. I've just been really tired. Honestly, I was like, do I ha even have the energy to stream today? And technically, I didn't. But I still did because I wanted to. I wanted to play and I wanted to, to hang out with you guys. Um, I think as soon as October arrives, I'm probably going to take like a week off. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you so much. I think, yeah, I think I'm going to I'm going to take a week off in like October. And we also do have a cosplay uh, coming up. I'm wondering if I'm wondering if maybe I should have like a s an extra sub goal. I mean, we did do the Ronnie cosplay two weeks ago. Um, and I do have an extra cosplay that I is on the way, but it's more for... Um, it's not for a specific game, but if you guys have any suggestions for a potential cosplay... Uh, you can, you can give me some suggestions in the suggestions channel in the Discord if you want to. Um, because if it's gonna... Well, I kind of... Would like to... Plan it before... Uh, before the season, you know? Of Halloween and everything, because then uh, it will take too long to order it. Following for the Todgers for Green Knights. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good night as well. Um, I'm not. I'm not say. I'm not saying that, Palm. I'm not leaving. We're gonna. We're gonna play tomorrow, though. Not. Not on stream. But. <laughs> oh, you guys are so funny, and I don't even know what you're talking about. Um. I'm going to cosplay as a rock from everything, everywhere, all at once. I mean, that could be arranged. Maybe. As long as it's something that I can... As long as I can see through it. So I can stream. While using it. <laughs> you know? You know? Just nothing that isn't, like, TOS friendly. Well, it needs to be TOS friendly, at least. Or just Coraline, that works too. Hmm. You're not leaving? Everybody's leafing? In the butt, you should have seen that coming. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I mean, I... I I know I ask, but I like out of everything we talked about, I I'm I'm pretty sure I know what it is. I just don't want to say it. <laughs> I don't I don't want to say it. Monka TOS exactly exactly. As long as it's TOS friendly. But I'm also curious if people can guess what the cosplay is that I've already ordered. It got shipped yesterday. And I have said, I have given you one hint. It is from an anime. 
It is from an anime. It is a, an anime cosplay. I won't say... Well, I mean, if you guess correctly, I will, I will say that you are correct. So just if you can guess uh, correctly, I will, uh, I will tell you, I will tell you. Is it an anime I like a lot? Um, sure. It may not be my absolute favorite, but I do enjoy it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> or just the character. Well, I, I chose the character because I thought the cosplay would be fun to do. Uh, and I also enjoyed the the co uh, the cosplay, the, the anime, but... I didn't choose it because it's my favorite anime. The vending machine from that vending machine dungeon anime? <laughs> it's gonna be Senshi, yes. That would have been funny. <laughs> that would actually been have been really funny. Um... But no, it is. It is not. You will Google all animes you have mentioned and start dropping names. I have mentioned it actually, both in the Discord and on stream. So if you've been here, uh, you have probably heard me mentioning it. Would that be cheating? Uh, no, no, I don't think so. Teresa from Claymore. No, it is not. It is not. That would have been cool, though. The dumbest of sword bodies. <laughs> I mean, it would have been cool. It would have been cool. Honestly, any uh, cosplay, no, any any Claymore cosplay would have been cool. But it's it's not from Claymore at all. Um, it's a little bit too. I wouldn't say niche, but it, it would be too difficult to because I've I've ordered like a finished cosplay so the only way that i could do that would have been to make it myself i think mm. but yeah let's see if we can find it's a full metal alchemist fursuit wait fursuit who would who would that be then who would who would the first suit be of? The dog. <laughs> I should have guessed. I sh I, I don't know why I asked. It, it, that should have been obvious. <laughs> it's literally the only animal with fur. <laughs> that is, yeah. No, no, it is not. But yeah, you guys can. You guys, uh, you have about five minutes to guess. <gasps> Dude, I think I know who I want to raid, because this is someone that I've never been able to raid before. Because he usually streams really late, and never at the same time as me. Honestly, I don't even know if he knows that I stream. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if- it, chat fr wait, chat friend? Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? Hmm. Oh, the dog. Oh, I see. <laughs> As I said, I'm really slow today. I'm really slow. Okay? Okay? But yeah, this person is someone who plays a lot of Souls games. Um. Actually, I don't think he's played Elden Ring. But he's played, he's done a lot of, like, challenge runs, uh, in, in Sekiro, and, uh, Bloodborne, he currently does a lot of Bloodborne uh, challenge runs as well now. I think he, he's practicing on Deathless in Bloodborne right now, well, not now, but, depends on the day. And he also has done some challenge runs in Liza B as well. Um, but today he's playing Mass Effect. He's playing Mass Effect. Isn't Pokemon anime? It is. It is. But no, it's not Ash. 
been live for like half the day. I know. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> you don't remember other names? I can't say as much that it's a pretty, pretty new anime. Fairly new. Now I've said too much. I've said too much. Um... I feel like that is too, too much. Fairly new in like two years. Ten years is not fairly new. That is fairly old in the anime world, I guess. When it comes to... Well, I mean, not really, but... I don't know. It depends on who you ask. Gonna be more different. <laughs> no, I only just heard about that a couple of days ago. That would have been funny, though. <laughs> that would have been funny. Uh, but no, no, it is not that. I can. S well, do, do you want another hint? I shouldn't give another hint. I can say as much as it is. It is a female character. Is it a main character or like side character? If you can say. I feel like I shouldn't say that. Um... No, I, you know, I can say that it is- it is a- it is- no, it- I can say. It, it is a main character. It is a main character. No, 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 I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna- If you say the anime, I'm not gonna say yes or no. Only if it's the character. Because if I say yes to an anime, it will be too easy. Is it a slime? Are you the stepsister from Days with No- What? No, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> now I've given you so many hints that if you don't guess it now, I feel like- Well, it would either be because you don't really watch anime, but this is like- This- This- Now you- You should be able to guess it. Uh, does it start with R? No. <gasps> Chris got it right. Chris got it right. It is. It is indeed. See, I know. I knew that I had given too many hints now. Either <laughs> Chocolate from Suicide Squad. No, it is. It is vegan. It is true. It is true. Chris got it right. No idea who that is. No, it's it's an anime that came out last year. And it, it was, well, it was towards the end of last year. And then it finished this year. So it is pretty new. Fliegen, it, the, the name of the anime is Fliegen, Um And the main character is also called... Fliegen. It's named after the character. Uh, you had a feeling when I said it was an anime? Really? That's funny. And you didn't say sooner you could have gotten it so early and gotten some flex points. Dad spoiling it for everyone. Yeah, but I just this I was like, this seems like a fun character to cosplay. So I kinda wanna try it out. I wanna try that out. You thought Fleen was too obvious? What do you mean? But you said Jujutsu Kaisen. That's uh, But yeah, okay. Um, let us start the raid, though. Let us start the raid. But yeah, that's that is the cosplay that I'm gonna do. Um, <laughs> I just figured, you know, this was a, a fairly affordable cosplay to do, and it also seemed like it would be, I don't know, comfortable as well because I don't have to paint my my skin blue for once. Uh, that was the main issue with me, like, the- using makeup on, like, everything made it so much more <laughs> painful to do. <laughs> You're such an anime casual that you didn't want to embarrass yourself by saying- by being wrong? But you did it though. This ass co no, don't- that is- n that is not the raid message bomb. <laughs> Um. 
thought I was gonna be cake your own slice of life. I, I love that title so much. <laughs> Make it and, and, and Chris will cosplay it, yeah. Okay, let us start the raid. We're gonna raid someone called Markopotamus. Um, this is someone that I actually got to know through Crunchy. She was the one who suggested this guy for me to watch because I was playing, uh, I was playing Sekiro at the time. And so I've been following him for uh, well over a year. But I've never been able to raid him before because he usually streams such a, such a late time. For those of you who might be sensitive to these things though, he do he does he does smoke. As in weed in case people don't want to don't want to don't want to see that for some reason. But yeah, he is playing Mass Effect and um he's a pretty chill dude. He plays a lot of good music as well. Plays a lot of different music. Uh I think he also plays in a band. But yeah, let us go and, and uh, share some some love over there. Yeah, let us do that. Let us do that. And yeah, if you're subbed, you can copy uh, the one with the rolling fox, the first raid message. Let me just do it again, just in case. This one. And if you're not subbed, you can copy this one. And um, yeah, I hope you guys want to join in. Hope you want to wanna hang out and... and uh, you know, I just really like it when people decide to join in for the raid because, you know, it makes, it feels nice to bring other people over, you know. Um, I need to recommend some weed animes to <laughs> uh, I think he also watches anime. I, I, I'm not entirely sure, but I think he does, but. Also, I don't know about any weed animes. <laughs> Secondhand smoking, yeah, yeah. But thank you so much for being here, guys. Thank you so much for everything you've done. I will see you again on Wednesday. I know that is seems like a long time from now. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate you all. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. You are the best. And I care about you all a lot. So be safe. Take good care of yourselves. And I'll see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, there.